This is an Arkham City song? What? Okay. I'm just going to make random noises until somebody says something. Cast on. Alright, what are the tags? Oh, necropolis. I had to, dude, I had to learn how to spell necropolis. Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, that's it. Night dad. What is this? First, first message. You want to link an emote, huh? You think that's going to work around here? You think I'm just going to click the first emote that you link? I'm just going to click that thing. I add this. What is it? What is it even? I trust you. You're not going to link something weird. I trust you. Okay, you're you're fucking banned. You're actually fucking banned. Why the fuck was that? Are you jerking off right now? Why the fuck was that the first thing you linked me? God damn, this emote gets me every time. Sorry. I'm sorry. XDD. Yeah, nice. Close, bro. Close. Spell better than you use to pronounce. Okay, jargon. I don't know how the fuck you're talking right now. Spell better than? Spell better than you use? Use a to? Use to pronounce omniscience? Yeah, maybe you need to work on your grammar and English, sir. What the fuck? There's some delay content if you want. Yeah, I know. The Zizarin interview is up. You're just projecting. <laughs> Drew. Oh, shit. He used the reverse. Oh, wait, I'm projecting. Oh, my. He got me. You're just projecting, sir. Lol. Hey, okay, when does League actually start? 23. Oh, it's 2 p.m. again. Oh, it's a fucking. It's like daylight, whatever the fuck. Okay, 2 p.m. on. 2 p.m. on. On Friday. Okay. That means I need to be live by noon and log in. Am I going to update the DD guide on Max Roll? Uh, no, I'm not going to update any of my guides. I'm not going to release any videos. I'm not going to do any content and I'm not streaming on League Start. Guys, what, what the fuck kind of question is that, man? What the fuck kind of question is this, man? What do you mean update the guide? You mean change the passive tree to 3.24? And then click update? Like, <laughs> Motherfucker, what do you mean update? Yeah, no shit. I'm going to fucking update. I'm going to click convert the tree to 3.24 and put the new POB in. Okay, I did a little bit more than that. I'll, I'll be real. I did a little more than that, but yeah, motherfucker, of course. It's like the, one of the only builds I got right now, man. I got CF champ and I got detonate dead. That's it. What the fuck did I do? Oh, I did a... Uh, I just, I added a divine flesh tree. I was just like, here you go, man. Uh, here's some divine flesh and you give us some armor. You get the armor mastery. This this isn't going to do like too much, but whatever, man. Better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Yeah, I don't know if I really like this. But uh, what the fuck else are you supposed to do on Witch to get like any armor? Idle change, re-upload video. Holy first time chatter. Yep. Well, he's either gonna get used to it, or he's gonna leave and he's gonna cry and he's gonna shit his pants. I would rather. But you know what, Alpha Primordium. That's a really good question, and I'm so glad that you asked this in the first two minutes of the stream, because a lot of people have been wondering. A lot of do not wide time. This is not. The, this is not. This is not Roos chat, by the way. That's actually a really good question, and, uh, you know, I, I've been thinking a lot about whether or not to update the guy, and I, I think after my community has voiced their opinions, I think I am, I think I am gonna, uh, I think I am gonna update it. What happened with DD guy? What about it? Yo, King, where's your state in that map? What map? Homicide rates in the... <laughs> 
Yo, we're pretty chillin'. We're chillin'. What the hell? What do you mean, where's my state, man? It's fucking Wisconsin, dude. Come on now. Homicide rate per 100,000 people. Wait, white is not good. Wait. Green? Dark green? Oh, God. That's like just Quebec. Jesus. Ontario is lighter green. Fuck me, man. What's up with Wisconsin? Four to five per 100,000? I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. Michigan? Jesus. Seven to eight? They're, they're double. What the fuck is this? MC? What is going on in art? What is going on in Louisiana? What the fuck? What? What's going on in Louisiana, man? How are they not all just ch It's the hot weather, man, I tell you. It's the hot weather. It does it in. Look at all these, like, cooler states. Okay, except, you know. Yeah, and then it gets hot weather. It does it. We've, we've solved it. Okay, what is this? If we can't wide time, can we at least... Wide Nessie. I'm not even logged in. Okay, the mods can add these. Yeah, source is trust me. Hey, sweetie, can you recommend a league start farming strat? It's my first real league start and I'm really clueless. Two months sub, by the way. First league start, huh? Okay, a farming strat for league start. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. God. Shut up. Uh, yeah, farming strats. I'm going to do that as a video. So honestly, just fucking watch the video. Okay. Just watch the video. Let's be real. Uh, Just watch my fucking video. Okay. What is this four months SSF run? I'm going to delete this character. PA held down by Philly. <laughs> oh, wait, what is this? Wow. Yeah, let me do that on poisonous concoction. Fuck that build, bro. Oh, fuck Peacock. Bone Shatter Juggernaut, you're going to update a max roll? I don't even think... Bone Shatter Juggernaut. Max roll. I guess I do need to update this. I think it's the uh, it's the end game we archived. Yeah, this is this is like a small update. Yeah, I, I, I'll update it. Right. Uh, all I've got to do is fit automation in. Uh, it's not that big a deal. I mean, Bone Shatter is not dead. It's just not a compelling option. I'm, I'm not making any uh, I'm not making any videos about it, but. I don't think there's any reason for me to take down the Bone Shatter guide. It's just not like a very compelling option, right? It's not like it's dead. Uh, it's just uh, you give up Frost Blink and a Helm Implicit. Or a Ring, imp uh, or a ring Implicit. And then, uh... and then your Axe costs more. Your Boots cost more. Uh, yeah. And it's fucking annoying. So yeah, it's not like it's fucking dead, right? It's not dead. It's just not like a very compelling option uh, anymore. I think this guy was a palm mod. What a little rat. You don't need it. I haven't even checked if it's still re relevant. They could have removed Spectre Fishing and I hope they did. Written by Tripolar Bear, reviewed by Tanky. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that was silly. It, all he had to do is like read my max roll article. Uh, what is what else is there to say? <laughs> that was just goofy. That was a goofy comment. Build updates on max roll. Will uh will be tonight or tomorrow. <clears throat> All my builds are updated. All my shits updated, uh, except Bone Shatter Juggernaut. Uh. And that's just going to be a small POB update. So CF Champ, DD, I'm torn between Cox CC, Slayer Bone Shatter, Maw. I want an all rounder that can do juice mapping and all void stones. Help me send by. I'll give you the reach around. Yeah, TTS sounds so quiet right now. Is that? Let me do my microphone thing. Uh, an all rounder that can also. Oh wow! Oh. Oh my god. Wait, Stereo Lab, you want an all-rounder that does juiced content, doesn't die, has great single target, and is a one button clearing the maps? Holy shit, me too, man. Does anybody have 
Okay, you've got to, you play corpse skill, bitch. Okay, what the fuck you want? Play corpse skill, man. An all rounder to do all of the content, all your void stones, juiced mapping. Yeah, just play cock DD, man. Yeah, but it's implied. It's fucking implied. Will there be cock DD on max roll? No. Is there a consensus on best league start of the league? Yes, detonate dead. Uh, detonate dead version. DD chain, necro, DD Ellie, ignite, cock DD. They're all like slightly different and all very good. Yeah, CF champ will be fine with mana changes. What mana changes, man? Why you guys ask me these questions? Mana changes? Okay, I've got my top 10 video coming out later tonight, guys. If you're truly curious. Man, when's the Ziz thing? Ugh. Do I do like 40 minutes? What that's like act one and two. Will Bone Shatter Slayer be strong without call to arms? Cock DD. My guy's holy shit. Cock. Also try polar bear. Dead to fucking lift the curtain Dead. on our newest blind like, rat like in the right now. I hear that Milk IBK is transitioning into his oversized aviator's build after his eye on fuck operation. Lift the curtain. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? Milky BK Twitch YouTube? Is he what? Is he wearing glasses? Oh, look at this. Oh, Alice changes are huge. Damn, I thought he was spoon feed me. I'm not playing CF. I'm not playing CF. I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm not playing Corrupting Fever Champion. Mirror of Disparage. Wait, this was two months ago. What the? Yeah. Xing Mines. Yo, he's doing the tuna thing. Tuna was doing these. Wait, where is he? Where's the camera? Where's the camera? He's looking at Penance Brand Trickster. It's fucking over, man. It's so over. What is this? I arc? almost missed that. What? He's watching an Arc Arc Mage. The ultimate Arc League start build zero to hero. Wow. Hold on. <laughs> but he says League Star in the title, man. Who is this? No, I heard it. No, it's this guy. No, he's back at it again. No shot. I'm sorry. Phoenix seems like a cool guy, but he just releases dog shit content. I don't understand. He seems like a nice guy, so it sucks. But Jesus fucking Christ, guys. I don't know if you remember last league. All you noobs playing DD. Hey, hey, cocksucker, what are you playing? You little fuck. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we got a god gamer. Hey, Saku, Saku Rap, what are you playing, huh? What are you playing on League Start? What S plus tier build are you, what did you come up with so that you can blast all the way to Void Stones, easily conquer tier 17 maps, destroy Uber bosses, 1 million EHP, 30 million DPS. All on a league start budget? What are you playing? Enlighten us. Enlighten us. Ugh, all DD. Yeah, it's all oh, everybody. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. Let me get my fucking special snowflake build so you can watch me level in yellow maps. Dual strike, because what matters is. <laughs> Come on, man. You're going to tell me dual strike is fun? Dual strike. You're going to tell me dual strike is fun. Okay. I was, hey, I'm glad I've got somebody to farm essences and white maps for me. Okay. Thank you. I salute you. God bless you. All right. Thank you for farming beasts for sushi in tier five maps. Thanks for farming essences for the rest of us in white maps. Okay. Hey, no, it is. Okay. It is. I'm fine. I'm fine with you playing. I'm fine with you playing dual strike, but why you gotta be such a little bitch about somebody playing a good build? This is literally you like, oh my God, I can't believe you're playing a really good build. Why don't you play like a B tier or C tier build like me? I have a lot of fun, uh, slower, uh, clearing the Atlas slower, having lower damage and being less tanky. That's fine. It's okay that you like those builds, but you're, uh, for some reason, you have this like peg up your ass if anybody plays builds better than you like what the fuck is this bro it's league start brother okay it's league start sure talk some shit if i'm playing detonate dead three months into the league 
We're talking day one, brother. We're talking, I want to do some fucking T17 maps in the first couple days, man. I don't think I'm doing T17 maps day one, day two on dual strike. Okay. I am a content creator. I'm a streamer. I have to show myself being good at the game. And you know what that means? Playing a good build. Okay. I can't play. I'm not playing fucking dual strike through my Atlas, bro. That's CBT. You can play your dual strike hipster build, but fuck me, bro. Oh my God. Another detonate dead player. Yeah. I'm sorry. I like good builds. Yeah. I'm a, I am a cuck. I am a cuck. Yes. I let people. Fuck. <laughs> yes. I am a detonate dead player. That means I, I let people fuck my wife. Okay. That is what that means. That is who I am. It's not about playing a good build. You're playing the best. Okay, well, I play CF champ and I play, you know, like people. Okay, there's no winning. There's no winning. It's okay. I think that having an awesome league start build is worth playing a less fun build rather than play something fun that struggles to do Alice Quest. Thank you. You just want to have a leveled witch in case Necro is meta. No, Inquisitor. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, Bwern. Bwern, please don't leave. No. Oh shit. Oh my God. Bwern. No, I need you. I need Bwern. Please come back. Bwern, please. I'm so sorry. I'll stop being weird. Bwern, please don't leave. Please. I'm going to cry. Bwern, please don't leave my YouTube stream. I need your view and I need your like. Please, man. Please, please don't leave. I'm not a cuck, man. I'm not a cuck. I swear to God, I won't let people fuck my wife, Bwern. Bitch. All right. Anyways, guys, do I do I even need to do anything about this? Do I even like? What well, what am I supposed to say, man? I feel like this says enough. I feel like this says enough. The fact that you have thirteen fucking path of buildings. Okay, number one. The fact that you have thirteen fucking path of buildings should be a huge red flag. He put. Oh yeah, just come back to my video every fucking act and grab a new POB. Here's your act one P Does this guy not know? Like, this is such a it shit- This is such a shit tactic. Just to get- Like, look at this. He unironically uploaded this. He uploaded this. Grab two plus one wands and get a Dodre's damning. And here's your level 12. Okay, hold on. Let me go grab my act two POB now. Holy shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong? Like, come on, bro. Are you kidding me? Oh, hold on. Let me check. Oh, okay. It's a Praxis. Oh, and <laughs> why did he do that? Why did he do that? Why does he have Fizz damage on the wand now? Why does he, why is it not cold dispels and plus one lightning like it was on the last one? What is this? Oh shit. Okay. Here. Oh, we're picking up mind over matter right away. We're picking up mind over matter in act two. What the? Oh, we but you don't want to shock? What is this? Am I crazy? It... <laughs> no flame dash. No orb of storms. No shock. <laughs> okay, that's our act two. That's look. That looks great. That looks. That's new player friendly. Oh, guys, it's act three. Pick up a thousand ribbons. What is this? What the fuck is this, man? <laughs> increase crit and increase damage at level 20? At level 20? What the <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck is he doing? He has no crit anywhere. What the fuck is this, man? Increase crit and <laughs> Oh shit. Holy, that's good. Hold on, let's see. Is there any is there any other better support I could do? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Arcane cloak. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's good shit. Yeah, this is a great build. The best part the best part about the build is that once you reach act 10, this is what he tells you to do. Okay, in a mana league, in a mana league in the Arc Mage Connorverse, okay? In the Palsteroni YouTube video verse. 
He tells you to buy a Ziri's foible in Act 10. <laughs> Come on now. You're gonna, you're gonna tell people to buy a Ziri's foible? On a, it's not even a man. This is like barely even a mana build at this point. Jesus, what the fuck is this, man? What are these links, bro? What are these links? I don't know what the fuck is going on. Okay, anyways, this is your Act 10 build. He says, play this. He says, play this. And then, guys, what do you think the next step is? Is it... Guys, after this, is it a level 80 character? Is it a POB with some uh, Eldritch Implicits? Uh, does he tell you what flasks to use? Uh, what comes after this? Because, like, I'm a new player. I'm a noob. Uh, what else do I use? I put Wrath on Eternal Blessing. I've got Arcane Cloak and Surge. Try I have a four-link arc. Bear. He's got a big dick, dude. What is next? I loved your lightning arrow league starter last league. Shut up. Stop. Dust sticks? Who else? Who subbed earlier? Who subbed earlier? Okay, fist it's the dicks guy. It's the fucking dicks guy. Never mind. No thanks. What a great tree, by the way. Fucking lovely. Before he's even power charge stacking, he's just like, fuck it. Just get a power charge, man. Hell yeah. That's that's real. That's sick. That's what the fuck is it? I don't, am I going crazy? What the Dex! fuck is this tree, bro? What the fuck is this, man? Anyways. Nice. Yeah, just grab random shit. Who cares? Who gives a shit, bro? Honestly. Anyways, this is your Act 10 POB. All right. All uniques and a couple wands. Uh, one four link, uh, two four links. He doesn't tell you what to do with the rest of your gems. Uh, and then he just gives you his standard character, 75 million, completely decked out, plus one pot, just like, okay, not power charge ring, sorry. Dex! It's the spell damage per power charge rings. He's mirrored it. He's mirrored it. He changed it from last league. Oh, this is sick. This is really sick. Okay, so uh, so I start in Act 10 with all of that. Um, and then I just need to, like, work my way towards this. Okay, okay. Dex! Thank you. Thank you for the help, man. Thank you. Path of Exile. Best. Best Arc League Starter build. Leveling plus endgame. I mean, that's not wrong. That's not wrong. He did only include the leveling and the endgame. That is true. It's the improved Dex! version of the best Arc League starter in Path of Exile. Come on, man. Just say an Arc. An improved version of an Arc League starter. Why do you have to lie and say the best? Obviously, this isn't the best. This is trash, right? It's like actual garbage. Dex! You didn't even tell people all of the links. Like, I, like straight up, I, I you say it's the best? If I had Orb of Storms, I've improved it. Now I've created the best arc. Is that how it works? It will show you how to build a proper passive tree and what Dex. items to get as you progress through the game. It's beginner friendly and has everything you need to know in order to jumpstart your league and beat endgame bosses. This is fucking insane. This is crazy, man. Jesus Christ. Dex. You have not even tried it, true. Yeah, I, I definitely, you know what? If someone brings me a pile of shit on a plate and I haven't eaten it, what, you know, how am I to know how it tastes? I can only smell it, look at it, and use Dex. my informed decision and faculties in my brain. But true, I haven't tasted it. I have no idea. I have no idea how that shit on a plate tastes. This is true. But, uh, d d guys, I mean, if you look at anybody else's Act 2 POBs, do you see two things? Like, look at this. This is fucking insane. <laughs> this... <laughs> he doesn't, like, come on. <laughs> like, at least, like, this is supposed to be, like, the mo he's He's branding this for new players, and he doesn't even tell you proper skill gems to use. When have you seen anybody, anybody, tell you to use increased critical strikes? support in act three like that's fucking crazy man that is honestly insane 5.622 okay let's see can we make this better by doing literally anything added lightning 
What if we add uh what if we add like a, a fast <laughs> Hey, can we make this a little bit better? I have never made build for Poe, and I swear with like 99% accuracy I We've already made the build better MPOD and I just most content creators on YT. I'm not I I don't even it, these probably aren't even the optimal links and I've already made the build better just by changing two of his dumbass links. This build it literally is better in every way. It does more damage now. You have faster casting, it's going to be more comfortable. I can add Orb of Storms. I can just do this. Orb of Storms. Orb of Storms added lightning. And now the build's like way better. It's like actually insane now. This is crazy. What a what a world of difference. All my max roll shit's updated, man. They're, it's all updated. Every max roll build's updated. Yeah, I don't know, man. What a fucking joke this is. This video took forever to make because I had to level a new character. <laughs> How are you going to say that? How do you say that? This video took forever because I had to level a new character? Oh shit, man. You had to do an act 1 through 10 run for a league starter? Oh, it took forever. It probably did for him. If you think it helped you, please give me money. It helps me make more content like this. Please don't. Okay. EHP numbers shown at POB. Don't take our massive regen into consideration. Any item slot can be filled with any rare you find and buy with basic stats. When I said recent changes to Hierophant, I meant the one which grants more spell damage. Wow, oh, this is crazy. So at the start of the game, and specifically after you defeat Hillock, go to the vendor called Nessa and buy from her any two of the lowest item level ones you can find. These must be bought as early as possible. Why? Well, a very much this results in higher chances of getting damage and all of Why does he put this much fucking effort into the video? He's actually like, oh here, do this, here are your li He's like doing links like this. But he put like no effort into making an actual good build. For people to level with like what the fuck man what the fuck is this how do you put this much effort like oh here here's this I'll, I'll show you the little links and whatnot i'll put up like i'll put up the unique i'll put up your links here's the boss here's who you should talk to here's your bandit like here here's a couple unique options and then passing all the but he puts like no effort into actually trying to generate a good build fuck me man I love the new meta. It's not even a new meta. It's just it, we did the same thing last league. We did the same shit last league. Here it is. Arc Lightning Arc Mage is back. Oh, where is it? That's not even the one, is it? No, is it? Is that the one? That is the one. It is that. I feel like he changed the title. I swear to God, he was saying this is a league starter. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Where was it this 70? I think it was, was it 3.22? Was it this one? Uber viable budget. Phoenix's country is in the middle of a civil like war and his mom died from hitting an improvised explosive device. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Don't rag on his builds. Those guides are life or death for his survival. This is the one. This is the one. Just begging right away. Before this video start, I just wanted to quickly tell you guys that if you like what I do and maybe want to support the Give channel, me money. then consider dropping E. So it's a new leak, and we are having yet another Arc Lightning build. But wait a second. He did this for League Start. He did this for League Start, and this is his POB. This was the one POB he gave you. Max power charge, spell damage, power charge, enchant. Right? Double void battery, cloak of defiance, like just like a sublime vision. This is what he gives. And he's like, okay, so yeah, what you're gonna want to do is uh that skill is an arc what what was it? Arc is inherently yes. <laughs> I remember this shit. Okay, I'm a Phoenix lore master. This build is inherently a league starter due to the nature of arc. You know why he says that? Because Enki had an arc arc witch. And you get arc at level 12. That's the only reason he says that. Because the a popular noob league start like a guide is Enki Arc Witch. So it's just like, yeah, Arc, you just play it, man. It's real good. 
The video focuses on its performance after getting core items sorted. Oh yeah, core items. These are your core. <laughs> Jesus. This doesn't mean you need them to start the build. <laughs> Make sure to prioritize following the POB over the video in case of a conflict. Yep, true. Okay. The dark. What's going on? Well, for this league, I decided... Just jokester, bro. Just a jokester. Just a little bit of tomfoolery. Pay to watch a streamer actually run one of these. Yeah, that would be fun. All the way to its nearby manor. So at the start of the game and specific... Honestly, how much time do we have? We have 20 minutes before the Ziz interview. Let's boot it up. Let's boot it up. You'll pay money? How much? Wait, how much am I getting right now? How much do I get? You swore sinew and soul to serve God and the order of the Templar. For years, you built a life upon faith. Only to smite it asunder with one. How much? What am I getting? Hey, where's my game? Hold on now. Where is it? Where are the subs? Where, where's the sub at? What? Oh, I'm a peacock player. Hold on. Polar bear. He's got a big dick, dude. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Splish. One more prime or I end the run right now. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we got a gamer! <laughs> Thank you. Tri Polar Bear. Alright, no more subs, no more subs, no more subs. Yami, <laughs> Yami, West Callis, Rachel, Splish Splash. You guys are all toxic for enabling this behavior. Polar Bear? This is toxic. Alright, let's check the POB. Oh, I have so many fucking POBs open. Hold on. Is that the one? Okay, this was the one in 3.22. Thank God. I have a different gear set to go off of while I level the build now. Thank the Lord. Holy. Look, I don't hey, care about on. the streamer interview. Who is Tripolar Bear? Pan oh my God. Is this really what it's like to be Mr. What is this? Gift subs in the channel. Mr. Hobo, thank you. Dude, why is this attack speed so slow? Is this really what you do on League Star? What the fuck is this? Is this really what you do to kill Hitler on an Inquisitor? Look, I don't care about the streamer interview. Who is Tripolar Bear? <laughs> what the, the fuck? Gifted a tier one sub to Necropolis. They have given forty gift subs in the channel. Okay, hold on, hold on. Typically, after you defeat Hillock, go to the vendor called Nessa and buy from her any okay. two of the lowest item level ones you can find. I'm gonna buy two. These must be bought as early as possible. Why? Well, a very I'm just gonna buy the two on lowest plus one to level ones. Of all lightning spellless kill gems. This mod is usually hard to get, but that's not the case here. It's easy to roll on low level items because there are very few mods that can spawn at this level right. anyway. Okay. Less mods means less competition between the remaining mods, and as such, this. Okay, hold on, hold on. He's getting ahead of me. He's getting ahead of me. Hold on, let me close DD. Hey, what do I buy? Wait, what the hell do I do? Wait, hold on. Okay, let me buy Ark. Let me buy Ark really quick. Let me buy Ark. Wait, wait a second. Wait, what? Wait, what do I what do I do? Hold on, hold on. What does he say in the video? Results and higher chances of getting what you want. As a result, you end up rolling plus one to specific gem type around once every seven alteration orbs. It will take you about the entirety of Act One or even Act Two to get it rolled on both ones, but that's fine because when finished. These ones with plus one lightning gems each will provide you with more than enough damage to carry you toward the end of the campaign and even early Why is he maps. so decked out in the fucking the second zone? He has a Dodre's... Why does he have a Dodre damning? It's just for the res? Now it should be noted that you don't get access to Ark until level 12. Oh, until thank you. Until then we are yes. going to use Freezing Pulse for its pierce ability. It's not half bad if you line up monsters in front of you before casting it, which is... Okay, I'm gonna buy freezing pulse. Okay. All right, do I have, I hope I have a blue socket to fit this in. Thank God. Hey, look at that. Oh, I'll do his Ellie Pro Lift too. But then, once you have access to Arc, its three link setup should look something like this Arc, added lightning damage, and elemental focus. You will have to gain a few more levels to add Ellie Focus to this setup. Now for our passive three stars. Is this really all he tells you? Should go into the Templar life and mana starting nodes, getting all the way to this. Oh my God! Wait, I already fucked up. I I took damage first. Fuck! I was supposed. I was supposed to take life and mana. Fuck! Oh my! And I. I 
Oh, <laughs> discipline and training. <laughs> then we take nearby notables for their damage and all elemental resistances. As for optional no leveling way. items to get if you can afford them, we have the Weidri's Damning Ring. This one grants us 20 all resistances and gain mana on kill, which completely solves Guys, all tell me when the Ziz interview the starts. The game. Getting this means that you don't need to use a mana flask at the start, which is neat. Now for gameplay, there isn't much to talk about here except that you want to keep distance for and gameplay? only engage packs of enemies to kill. He doesn't have much. I wonder, I wonder why he doesn't have much gameplay of this build. Capitalize on arc chaining mechanic, as it's not worth to focus singular enemies with the skill. Now for Act 2, nothing changes until we reach the Bandits quest. You will be given the choice of helping one of three bandits to gain their bonuses, or get rid of all of them to gain two extra passive points. For Wait, so, dude, this is crazy. This is crazy. Not only do you not spec damage at all for like the first eight levels, all he tells you to use is just freezing pulse. He's like, okay, just use freezing pulse uh, until level 12. And um, grab a uh, grab life, <laughs> dude. I can't believe it. Just beyond your level, you are in zone one while he is. I am. I am. You're right. Please tell me when the Ziz interview starts. Anybody? Uh oh. Yeah, that's so wild. And this is like for new players too. This is for new players. The new player, he tells you to use one gem. And then if you're paying attention to the video, you'll see that he's also using frost blank. So you can pick that up. But uh, that's like a, it's a very high level technique. Uh, not really covered in the video. So maybe I don't actually use frost blank. No interview until Mervale is dead. Okay, so I'm not gonna have an interview for two fucking hours. Because he has me pick up life and mana to start out. So he can rush for mind over matter. That's fucking poggers, brother. That's real slick. I love that, dude. Big brain. When I started PoE, I watched this guy a lot. Literally the first thing I saw. Yep. That's how it goes. He's got a lot of subscribers, man. Sniper's Mark. Yo, that's actually kind of sick. I won't use that, though. Yeah, I mean, he's got like 180k subs, you know, like he's got to know what he's doing. Hold on. I'm going to have to do, let me grab this waypoint. And, uh, and we're, we're going to go do, we're going to, we're going to go do the mudflat respect quest so that I can faithfully follow this. Cause wait, the realm's restarting in 15 minutes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what the? Are you fucking serious? What the I'm in the middle of my Phoenix run, man. I'm about to pick up more life and mana. Dude, I cannot imagine. Merville on this character will be the worst I've ever had for like five years. For probably five years. Since before I knew to craft res on my gear. Why are you typing XDD? Like you guys are the ones that restarted the server. Oh, now it's my, oh, 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 oh dude, did, did I get you? <laughs> look at him. Oh, look at him. He's got, he's leveling. Time to restart. Uh, right before the Ziz interview. That's smart. That's actually smart. What? I can't fit? What, the Templar's hips too wide? What the fuck is this, man? I can't fit through here? Man, in PoE 2, I could fit through here. Okay, dude, this is so... This is fucking Omega cringe. Honestly, I should just migrate my character and get a fucking regret orb. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do that. That's so much easier. That's so much easier. Just delete. <laughs> no, I'm not deleting and restarting. Connect okay, full there we CF go. Campaign five hour to max run video, please. For my wife and kids, we are hoping to start a CF Scarab family mafia. No, fuck you. All right, here we go. Mule a witch. I think you're the only one I've seen telling people what channel to stay away from because of their horrible builds. Really, bro? It's just the same shit every time, man. It's like 
It's not like anybody new pops up and it's like, whoa, be careful of this guy. Same shit, different league, homie. Always can rely on Phoenix. Um, not even updating the passive tree because he couldn't even be asked to do that for his POB. Uh, it's still 3.23 trees. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hold on, let me get a little bit closer. That's a high, that's a high level tech. You only unlock that after reading the skill gem. Holy, holy. Yeah, I don't, I, he just doesn't watch that many guys, okay? Yeah, I don't know what, to, I don't know what that guy's talking about. Guys, when someone, guys, come on. When somebody fillets me, can you just like go along with it? Okay, I'm not using any of these, man. He didn't even tell me what to, oh, I recognize this one. Oh, Frost Blink. This is cool. When did they do that? What the hell? What the hell fuck? Yeah. When did they do videos for the skills? All right. We got it. We got it. I don't... We did it. And Quicksilver. Okay. Supports. It doesn't matter. He didn't tell us to do any of these. Well, we live, we Maybe I could, but let's just do what he told us. Let's just do what he told us to do. I'm already cheating by linking Elemental Proliferation. Rue goes hard on decent builds. Does he go hard on decent builds? What build is what decent build has he gone hard on? I feel like it just goes hard on people who are lying. And yeah, where it's just like this is the best, or this is this is insane. Like this is like the league star this is the something interview is starting what no it's not okay god i don't give a shit about the interview when they're like can you hear me hey neil can you hear me are we good uh everyone in the chat are uh, are my audio levels good uh can you hear me can you guys hear neon okay tell me when the interview actually starts that is not the best part you want to hear it? I'll we'll throw it up. Okay, give me. Let me get out of here, and I'll throw it up. Fuck, oh, jeez, this is already so painful, man. Getting no damage at all. This is like leveling a poison witch build. Jesus, Christ! I'm gonna ban my mods. I'm gonna ban my mods. Why did you link? This is not the interview. This is not the interview. Guys, League Start is in like three days. Why are you linking? Jesus, this is painful. This is awful. I have 10 minutes for Merville. It takes five casts of cross. Oh my. Holy. Look at this. Look at my damage. No wonder he didn't fucking show anything until Ark. Jesus. Guys, get it out of your system. Get it out of your system. Honestly, I might put this on CD and play it on my truck. Just get a lot of Rupert Meow AI remixes. See if my uh, see if my girlfriend notices. Oh, dude, this build's insane. Thank God I picked up all those life nodes. I would have died right there otherwise. Can this, day, can this build make it to 60 in two days? Oh. Not if you follow the POB, okay? You got to make some modifications. If you use Orb of Storms, it probably saves you like two hours. He told you to like use added lightning in combination with your freezing pulse. If he didn't say use freezing pulse because it pierces, if he did anything. If he told you to take damage. What is this? What are you? What? What could you be linking? My three point S tier league starter build. What is this? No shot, you guys don't review. What? What is this? He 
Blazing Salvo. Oh my god, dude. My S tier league starter. Best starter build. 10 C SSF fun. Day one Ubers. 90 million. Yes. This last. This is insane. POB? No life? Shinopla? Shinopla? What are you doing? Holy. This is insane. Default attack on left mouse button. This is the Molten Strike Dead Eye. Voice cracks. <laughs> hey, lovely, lovely. Thank you. Thank you. I died again. All the stars. Every star. It's perfect. Hey, guys, can I turn the song off? You guys are done, right? You guys are all done. I, I'm going to turn it off. I think we're good. I think we're good. That's it. That's all you guys get. No more getting baited by this shit. Link, only link me if you link me that again or China Cat. It's like 30 minutes to an hour. Maybe a whole day. Maybe a week. Maybe 30 days. Guys, we're here for one thing and one thing only. The Zizarin interview and clowning on this shitty Arc League starter. Look at this. This is where I'm at right now. This is the build. This is what he told me to do. This is all the information he gave me. This is Path of Exile 1. Jesus Christ. Okay, time to pick up... Oh, some armor. <laughs> Why am I... I have so many casts. The League is... What? The League's ending? The... What? <laughs> I wanted to test my build, man. The League is ending? I don't have my Dodre ring yet. That's true. No Dodre ring. You know what that means? I have to use a mana flask. Hold on. I've got five minutes to kill Brutus. A 20 minute Brutus run. Can we do it? Hold on. Let me get there. Let me get there. No, it's this way. I No, it's not. It's not. I know it's not. I've, I've studied the lower prison layouts. Wait, wait. Ooh, dude. I might have to. Oh, I did. I did. I literally did study the layouts. Downtime will be 15 minutes. God, this is going to be like the easiest Brutus of my life, man. I cannot wait. With mana and life passive points. Yeah, I wonder why he started his Act 1 footage in the ship graveyard with Ark. I wonder why that could be. I wonder why that's all he showed. <laughs> It's quite peculiar. Oh, thank God. The run would have died right there if I didn't drop that life flask. Jesus Christ. Okay, I I am going to try. Don't get it twisted. I'm not just going to sandbag Brutus. Jesus, look at oh this. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a God Gamer. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Five gifted. Justice for Molten Strike. Thank you. Wait, this blue pack? Dude, actually, I can't, I can't even... I can't stop for the blue pack. Holy. Guys, I would have died right there if not for the life and, and, and mana nodes. Thank God. Well, let me kill these monsters quick. All right, let's go up. It's time. We got three minutes for Brutus. I We got to go. We got to go. We need to go. Can we watch it? No. It's Ziz interview after we clown on this shit. Is it is it reaching around? Is it gonna reach around? It's gotta reach around, right? It has to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh god, is it? Is it? It is. My carry dog woof woof sent to the point. Let's right, just get it out of your system. What are you league starting? Didn't they nerf your kinetic blast? I'm going to I'm going to find you in real life and I'm going to spank you in front of your mother. 
Why do you guys, why do you guys say this shit? It, like, can you not read? Do you just hear stupid shit from your if friend? You click this link right now, I what swear the fuck on do guard, you mean? You will beat Brutus, no what problem. the fuck do you mean? Did they, didn't they nerf your kinetic blast? They didn't, a kinetic blast isn't in the patch notes, aside from them adding a transfigured gem. Oh, right, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this in three minutes. I'm going to have to... Oh my god, no wonder. No wonder he didn't No wonder he didn't show up Brutus. What the hell is that damage? No wonder he didn't show any Brutus footage. What the fuck is this? Yeah guys, just use freezing pulse. Just use freezing pulse. Yeah, so we're gonna uh, all the new players. What you're gonna want to do is uh, buy two wands and use freezing pulse until arc. Uh, make sure you take all the life and mana nodes. Here we go. I'll frost blink. I'll frost blink. Okay. That first death was for the noobs. Okay, the noobs would die. I'm even dodging attacks. Noobs would not do this. Oh my god, dude! I'm pumping. Oh, look at this damage. He's almost at 50%. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. How do you play this, dude? How do you play this and then tell new players to do this? Like, uh, come on, man. Just tell people, like, Magma Orb? At least, like, Spark Ooze or something? What the fuck, man? Hold on. Oh, I can't portal. I have to die. I have to die. I have no mana. My mana is spent. That's it. That's all we got before the league ended. That's all we got. That's it. The league ends in 10 seconds. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, a showcase of Phoenix's ultimate arc league starter build, which he spent a lot of time creating. Oh, you know what? I wasn't faithful to it. Uh, I didn't buy a Dodre's damning. Uh... This would have given me mana on kill, uh, which wouldn't have helped at Brutus at all. Neither would the res have, uh, nor would the wands. Uh, nothing actually would have helped at Brutus. It's going to be that rough. Anyways, where's Zizarin? It's time for the Neon, the Mark interview. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Testing. It, it sounds like everything's maybe good, but I can testing. keep talking if you need me I to. Think, I think we're perfect. I think we'll just... Uh, That's it. Hold on. Where can I go? I just need to remove one pixel from my camera. Hold on. Can I have my own little yeah. spot? We... Oh, I'll awesome. just be right here. I'll be right here. I, I think we're ready. All right. There we go, guys. He was an aura bot once. <laughs> what, do you mean? what do you mean once? I'm always an aura bot. <laughs> Mark Neon Roberts. Permanently an aura bot. I was a freeze miner once. Uh, was he really? No shot. Dual flame, multi flame totem once. Those are my two most iconic. Because that one got me the job. And uh. then the freeze mine one almost lost me the job. <laughs> not really, but not Dual really. But what? Know, <laughs> it was a bit scary. I'll go on the That's couch funny. with Mark. Yeah. All right. I'll, Let me put um, myself on there. I'll just start us off and I'll start recording on my end too, just so we have like a. We're uploading to YouTube later. I think we're ready. Hi, Cizrin here, and today I am privileged to be joined by Neon or Mark Bear. Roberts, nice to be here. game director of Path of Exile 1, and we're going to talk about a lot of different stuff. Game uh, director of QE1. Thank you so much for joining me here Is today. that new? Yeah, no problem. It's good to be here. It's actually my uh, first one-on-one -on -one interview outside of ExileCon ever in my 11 what? years, really? of coming on 12 years here, so a little bit... I'm yeah. not used to this for sure, but... Uh, <laughs> we'll, and we've been we'll see seeing more and more of you lately. Do you want to like give yourself a little bit of an introduction of what you currently do at Cranny Gear Games? The director of Path uh, of Exile 1. Sure. So I am uh, the game director. Uh, what does that mean? Um, or one of the game directors. Uh, what does that actually mean? Um, ultimately, I do not decide what happens. I will turn um, it up. I yes or no things on a gra grander detail. Um a lot of the nitty gritty can get. You know, just I trust to other people. At that point, if we, I wasn't doing that, I would be completely drowning all the time. 
um, high level design decisions, um, most of that. And obviously there's a bit of a thing of like the highest and lowest points of game development are both a form of QA. Um, ultimately I am the one that has to say whether or not something is good enough, um, mm -hmm. to be presented to people. Um, so yeah, yeah, I ultimately so I kind of just a big, I walk around saying yes or no a lot of the time and discussing a lot of philosophy and whether or not we should do things. Um, but it's very moment to moment, computer to computer. Um, not really sitting there on my computer doing things. I'm walking from person to person to person, kind of seeing their work, kneeling down next to them, kind of seeing what's going on, talking to them, making sure everyone's on the right track, um, stopping things that are on the wrong track, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So very hands-on, no, very like uh, active. Me, like red guys. <laughs> and very enjoyable. Awesome. And you still like get time to play the game a lot yourself as well, right? I do. Um, no, less nobody, than I nobody would plays, like. But, nobody plays the game um, over there. That's ultimately, you know, you do things like eventually you buy a house and now you have to spend X amount, X percent of your life dealing with that. And then you, you know, you get a cat or well, I've got a what cat. What is he talking about? This is so unrelatable. Of, well, cats are not high maintenance. But anyway, you, um, you end up losing a bit of your time to all of that. And, um, but I say mostly my Houses? predicament is that I get stuck in this like. Real life things. Uh, you know, is it more enjoyable to play the game or work on the game? And uh, often working on the game is more enjoyable, but playing the game is often, like, obviously still very enjoyable. Um, but sometimes working on the, the new thing can be a little bit more of an allure for me, especially if it's a fun problem to try and solve or something that we're developing. So um, either way, like, you could argue I'm still interacting with the game, but oh yes, God, sometimes bigger. I yes. am, uh, you know, working a lot more than I am playing, and sometimes I am playing... Uh, a little bit more than I'm working, uh, obviously still doing a lo lot of work, but nonetheless. Um, yeah, I, I feel like it's important for for game devs to play their own game a lot as well. Like, I mm -hmm. feel like you always see and notice that when, when people play their own game. And I think we, we have that here, especially with the way you were talking about things. You were like, this is good. This is bad. Let's change it. And that's uh, very refreshing, at least to me as a, somebody that does play the game a lot. That's awesome. There's, there's certainly details. I used to remember every single you name of every single unique, their stats, their min ranges, max ranges, oh every you could God. tell me every notable on the tree and I'd tell you exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. That, I don't know if it's the whole getting into 30s and short-term memory loss or if it's it the... Um, uh, you probably, oh, or if it's just simply that I'm more focused on the broader scale and less on the like exact details. Like I'm not that I old. will see unique items early in the development when their name is like rename me in capital letters and then... Uh, and then I'm like, yep, this is good. And then they'll go into it. They'll get a name, but I never know what that name is. And then someone's talking about it later. And unless know I've how specifically seen it on live or I've like approved a um, like post to go to, uh, like a teaser or something like that, I've someone will say a name and I'm like, I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, yeah. Like, so yeah, there's, there's details that got lost. Um, but again, when I was QAing everything and designing everything and actually putting the actual entries in game, I certainly knew more of the finer details, but I certainly know a lot more now in terms of, you know, bigger picture um, and actually how to design grander systems and put them together and all of that. Um, but I still do play as much as I can. Um, but yeah, um, then, yes, as I said before, the short the short term memory loss in the 30s certainly uh, uh, starts to play a role. So everyone Why are can people wide timing? I'm pretty sure that's a, a universal problem. <laughs> It is. Getting past 30 was hard. I'm 35 now. I feel old. <sighs> Come on, um, man. 30 is not I that old. Like... Right, let's, move, let's move on. We're gonna yeah, I don't want to talk here. about age. Guys, I do wanna, this in real life. I want to talk about our first topic, which is this teasers, IRL. which uh, you reached out and you were like, hey, I don't know if you would mind, but like we could show off lots of cool things that are coming. And I was like, yeah. Um, um, yeah, I'm always keen to do that. I am. Um, Obviously, we'll post all this uh, to everyone afterwards. I don't want it to be that if you're not here, you fully miss out, of course. Um, yeah. So that's fine. But uh, I figured we can go through them and discuss some of them. Um, so, yeah, I mean, start us off with whatever you want, really. I have it all prepared. It is ready to go. I hope that's five minutes. All right. What Let's is this? See. Wait, what? Below our windows. There we Wait, go. Wait, they have new teasers? Right, is this new? Scarab of the Shadowed Crow. Area this is new, right? Black Morrigan if it contains Einar. 
What the fuck? Oh, what does that mean, I wonder? What? Uh, the Black Morrigan was the beast, the monster, the, there's like a crow monster boss from uh, Affliction. But, yeah, um, yeah. This one's a little bit mysterious, um, and I won't give away too much, but it's just kind of some of the, there's an, <laughs> obviously a new beast to capture, and I guess the implication is that that beast can be used in some recipes that you may or may not know about, and we'll have to find out what those are. Can, no, um, they, they said they're taking out the taken? jewel. Uh, no, it is not that which was oh. taken. But yeah, speaking of no, that, yeah. we can quickly tangent to that. So yes, I, I do have a little bit of... I was going to um, say, they already said that it was removed. That obviously was very powerful. Yeah. No doubt about it. Um, in the context of charms not really existing, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because now it just feels like a, a... We don't want our uniques to feel like uh, rare items and that they get a random set of modifiers. And in the context where you have charms, you can have the unique and the unique has a random set of those things modifiers it makes a bit more sense. Now, I know there are modular unique items and jewels in particular, so like Watcher's Eye, but at least it's like, it has some of the fixed mods and, you know, like there are some kind of half exceptions. But um, that being said, what I do want to try and do in the future is because Ritual doesn't really have a meta end game, is try and work the King of the Mists into Ooh. that. Changed Ooh. it so that some of the affliction monsters are part of ritual, and then okay. uh, have it that okay. a more end game objective is to actually you know get to that boss and kill that boss, and then you might see some return of some of these items, including that. No promises, of course, but the hope is that um, you might we see may some even items? find a way okay. to integrate charms some other way, not necessarily into like a socket on an ascendancy class or anything like that. It could just yeah. be some other way, but. You know, my hope is to reintegrate okay. that, and it will give Ritual... I know we added Omens this league to uh, Ritual, yeah. Um, but it would give Ritual Omens a bit so more trash, of an in-game thing and a bit more of a, like, meta objective outside of just, you know, killing monsters in a circle repeatedly. Yeah. Omens are, like, don't so, lose XP so sometimes. Sort of, uh, that's that's essentially Omen. something similar to Ultimatum, where there's a chance that it opens up to the boss with Kings of Mist. Uh, yeah, or it could be that, like, you know, we adapt the ritual splinters to something where you're accumulating pieces that you put together and then eventually mm. go and find him or something like that. I'm I'm not exactly too sure. We'll experiment with a number of options, but... Awesome. Um, you can see chat. Hopefully we can do that. Well, I gotta look like a streamer interview. In a, Who is in Tripolar Bear? And add a little bit more to it and just make it more fun and a bit more, you know, have a bit more depth to it. That sounds super cool. Sure? All right, should we uh, look at the you next You want to see the wide time. Is that what it is? Sure. We have we Hopefully have a lot of scarabs. Ordering. That's the that's the thing. Yeah, a so lot. The next one that I see is scarab beyond five. Beyond scarab uh, yeah, of the, the invasion. I need to resize yep. it a little bit here. I've got the uh, I got the same images here, and I got on my keyboard, so I'm going through them. So hopefully, oh, nice. if we have the same order, otherwise yeah. we'll be dealing with a little mm -hmm. bit of stream Unique delay. Unique monster um, slain in the area. Fuck? Create eight to twelve additional beyond portals. Nice. What could you even? Uh, yes, yeah, so I guess this add? one. Is really like I could, I could see what stacking rogue exiles, uh, mm -hmm. stuff like that to help promote getting maximum amount of uh, oh my beyond God. output. Um, there are obviously a whole suite of beyond scarabs. There are for oh most of these, God. but we picked out just individual ones that I thought were kind of interesting or had uh, interesting interactions with other. That does seem crazy. Like that. Um, oh. So yeah, I mean we don't have to discuss Ruckus, these thoroughly. Yeah. Some of them are yeah. straightforward and just to the nose. Yeah, so. this one is very pretty straightforward. Uh, one thing you'll notice, um, and I know this one is limited to one, but it's something we didn't really talk about, is the scarabs now have a limit. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can see oh, that I below see, the stack one. size. So yeah, the previously, expedition one had two. Um, scarabs were completely mutually exclusive. You could not use two of the same one. Now sometimes you can, and sometimes you can't. And it's actually, oh. uh, as we get through some of these, you might wow. see some limited to twos. Some of them are limited to four. Um, Jesus, what? Four? four? Um, that is yeah. the, the ca current probably maybe forever cap on our map device slots. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll keep an eye on that one wow. as well, as that is a new thing. So that limit does mean how many of them you can put in with a single map. Yeah. Um, so it allows you to sometimes do it. I don't think Adorned is really before. worth it. Uh, until cool. like crazy, um, crazy end game shit. Breach, new one. Like you're never doing that on League Area so. contains two additional breaches. Awesome. Limit well, four. Wow. Here's an example of a limit to limited. Oh, uh, nice. Wow. So this is like, if you just... Like, let's say you're fully invested on the Atlas tree into breaches and you don't wow. have, like... Well, you do, like, so a Cheyula one, but... The Scarabs have different kind of commonalities. So this one will drop the breaches. most common out of all of the breach Scarabs and, uh, <laughs> and because it's just the enabling the lead. Jesus Christ. Um, so you might often have a lot more of these than the other wow. types. Mm -hmm. And you can... If you get excess of ones you don't no, want to run, eight. you can use the 3-to-1 recipe with the vendor to get a random output. Nice. 
I know how to do math. Okay, you're not going to add day, eight fucking gone. normal scarabs, and eight that, fucking I'll normal breaches. Okay, you're going to add whatever that, scarab that, makes like, them Chayula. We wanted it to be Shut that the fuck we up. could drop more. Um, and we you're not going to do that six Esh that and place, a total breach were feeling obliged and one Chayula. To, it's not happening. Uh, you know, if you use three of these and then the Chayula scarab. So that they could always re-roll them. So ultimately, internally, we were like, let's just get rid of that. you're not. We can still do the three to one. I'll break into your house and stop you. Costly. And we will just drop more of them. Like, mm -hmm. they are quite plentiful. I think people might actually be quite surprised to how plentiful we've gone with this. Um, at least from our testing. And we've actually had the scarabs on um, alpha, which is very uh, uh, not normal for us. We've had the scarabs with the drop rates and it being iterating on that on alpha for, I think, a good month. Um, which wow. is very un not normal. That might not seem like a long time to, to most people. In and other I love live time. Real, uh, normally, there's like a... If you're lucky, you'll get two weeks of alpha testing just because things aren't ready enough. So we specifically got ahead of this feature because I right was now. like, okay, if we ruin end game juicing, uh, like the, the, the game's probably ruin. dead. Yeah. So let's not do that. Yeah, um, so do if that. we're going to do something this risky, we need to be damn certain it's going to be good. Um, and so I feel like we've taken every measure possible to try and confirm that. So... Uh, Yes, we've had a lot of testing on this one, and we're pretty happy, and they are quite plentiful. And obviously with the Atlas tree, you can spec into a lot, getting a lot more of them if you want um, or oh. if you don't want. Um, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, I mean, so this is a common one. I did cool. do That's it right. IRL. No, I, was, I think the, the limit thing is just a very interesting way to make something, because this is sort of the equivalent of like the, the cheaper scarabs before, but having the limit thing there makes it so much more interesting. So I really like that. So yeah, it might find you have access to these, and thus you can use more of these at once. So if you just want to run eight breaches every map, um, and you don't really want to like run your other breach scarabs, you don't have to. And maybe because the tree's investing in it, and then when you find a rarer one, a rarer scarab, um, you might do maybe two of these, one of those, and one of something else. Thank you. And, you know, Thank you, can, you for saying there's that. There's heaps of like combinations and mixing and matching that we expect people to do. Very cool. Do this IRL right, we'll right now. Add another one. Breach new two will always belong to Chayula, limit one. Nice. Uh, yeah, so this is one of those examples of a yes, rare one. Yes, this is what I was talking about. You might want to occasionally use this. This is crazy. Well, you, That's wild. You're probably going to want to use this when you're also fully investing in everything else possible with Breach. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it is expected that you kind of... like. I would There's expect like people not to use too. too many of these ones without also being fully invested into the tree. Yeah. And that's, again, where the multiple tree uh, comes into play. Um, but, again, if you you can either save it for later if you do want to, like, maybe change a tree later or if you just don't want to run it for that league, just trade them all away or three to one them. But I suspect three to one -ing higher rarity ones is not going to be something you really want to do. No, it's more of the things no for the shot. lower, the more yeah, common so ones. Yeah, so you for can sure. three to one one of the lower ones and get lucky and get one of the best ones. Uh, yes, you can. I'm... 99% sure of that. I'm just trying to oh. think if we... Didn't. I'm pretty <laughs> sure, yeah, it should yeah. be fully random. I'm not it's, doing it. Like, obviously, it's still rare, but yes, you can get lucky oh. and get that, yeah. Let's look at the Breach New 3. Contains a Breach Lord. So that'll be on so every obviously, Breach. Uh, Contain a yes, Breach Lord. it will Lord. be in every Breach. So well, yes, obviously, you run a number of Breaches, you then get Chiola, and if all of them can be Chiola, you then get a Breach Lord guaranteed in every yep. single one of them. Plus and four, then obviously five Breaches. The tree. Now you're just obviously getting... Ah, oh, damn, bro. Shit tons cool. of splinters going on there of Chiola type. Awesome. Moving on to the next one, Breach 4. He's just doing all the Breaches. more Splinters, 50%. Oh, and the Class Plans also give 50% more Splinters, and a limit of two. two, so you can get 100% more. Yep, so it's... I guess you're going to have to kind of weigh it up at some point. Uh, if your goal is to get XP and more standard drops, it might be worth using another plus two breaches. Whereas if your goal is to get uh, like breach stones, then it could be that this is actually more what you want to do. And you could, there's, there's some quantification you're going to have to do to weigh that up again. Balance Somebody do the, the math for me. And whatnot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's straightforward. It's 50% or 100% more breach splinters from the hands and monsters. Yep. So that's the full breach set of them. Which is an area. Yeah, here's um, the last one. Breach scarab of snares. I oh, know there's one more. Wow. Five to ten additional class turns, and they're guarded by a rare breach monster. Yeah. Wow, so just so every time you monsters. open them, a rare yeah. What the comes fuck? Out. Yep. What yeah, the fuck? Monsters, and, and that's again per breach. <laughs> so that's awesome. What do you? Depends how many breaches you can get. A lot of breaches, um, but 
Um, I know some of them are percent chance, quite rare on the tree. There's that like uh, low chance for heaps. And for like, for those that didn't catch it, the hands open automatically now. So very cool. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, oh, there's, some things, there's some things like that's that. That's so many fucking monsters. That's actually crazy. So obvious. Like yeah. you just like. Is that better than like, Breach Lords? Course, it is just annoying the whole time. And yet nothing really ever triggered in my brain to tell me like this is easily changeable. It was actually, um, we were talking with one of the console producers here and he was just like, you can't target them in the midst of all that because of the way that um, console targeting has prioritizations. And yeah. I was just like, oh, well, like, of course that's a problem. Um, let's change it. But like, obviously, Doors! should just change Doors! both versions. And so like, that's just an example Doors! of just someone bringing that up. And it's just, it, even though it seems so obvious when it's mentioned, um, I don't know, I guess it gets... It's harder for those, like, like a single detail of a single league to really remain at the front of your brain, like... When you then, even if you're yeah. playing at home and you, I mean, I end up writing down like 30 things when I'm playing and I'm like, here's all the things I want to talk about or get changed. And then is he going to say um, doors? I come in and I normally talk about it, but stuff like that can often just easily get lost and just yeah. kind of be at the background for so long. Yeah. How do you feel about doors? Oh, uh, there is, I, I think clicking them is essential. Um, oh, but what? <laughs> there is something certainly essential? not entirely Essential? fun about it but i don't think that doors should automatically open for you i definitely do not believe in that <laughs> okay. interesting is do you want to expand on that because i don't particularly feel like it's super beneficial to click on doors yeah wouldn't it make sense that your character walking next to a door would um open it i'd say this one's a little bit it's going to seem nebulous because at the end of the day i don't have a good rationale aside from just it should feel realistic Right. Um, and I think that is a, I know it's fantasy, but I mean, God in the sense of damn physics it should feel realistic in that regard. Um, like there are worlds where I could see, you know, what, like Overwatch, there's a like, specific what? magical skill that someone like a, no, a gem or something or no. something where you can, like, you know, use lightning magic to open in a my door mind, the, the, the character is still opening the door. Uh, it's just I mean, doing it without me clicking cases, yes, in my mind probably could be damageable and thus openable on damage there i go to walmart and the door opens like, for me check my idea stone doors. True. i don't think that should necessarily be the True. case that's yeah. also a kind of a lot of work to do that right but um it's i am i like a game that feels as uh like grounded as possible and that is a thing where it's like just to be able to like if your character is just like telepathically able to open doors, then why isn't it telepathically able to do a million other things? Um, mm -hmm. And I just think that keeping that grounded and keeping that uh, well, physics to some degree is important for me. It could also be that like the Val just like started like this new door company and expanded their doors to the rest of the world. You know, like automatic doors, five ninety nine per door, buy them here. Well. Technically, the Val did do it. The Val just That's only true. did it in incursion temples, yeah. and those, and that, and whatever structures those are, for some reason, they maybe they uh, they this had the cataclysm guy. before they could expand that technology everywhere else. This so, fucking guy, know. man. That's fair. Um, I just had to ask. I feel like I would have gotten lynched if I didn't, but definitely that's something that a did lot of people in the community do Swedish? on automatic doors. At least in more places. Um, it's it's certainly in that category of thing of just like automate everything click less on everything and i understand how people get there but i think that is one where i would not cross that mm -hmm. line um there are uh, there are many other things i would rather improve than that and i'll, I'll quickly like okay um it's somewhat adjacent but it's Why to do, do with clicking on things um i don't know not if like you noticed in, in that poe 2 build that now, you played i don't know if anyone really noticed but um did you or anyone mention the um item pickup range Mm -hmm. yeah it's it's longer very very noticeable longer but i did okay, not mention yeah. it so that video. is so the moment i uh, yeah i haven't watched all the stuff yeah, uh, too, responding yeah. to that but uh that is something i would like to move over so at least it's like less i have to walk three centimeters <laughs> um, now i want to make sure we get it perfectly right before we do that because that is the kind of thing where once you put it in it cannot go lower it can yeah. go higher but it cannot go lower um, so we want to get that perfectly right in POE 2, and then I would be pretty keen to move that over. Um, it does require a little bit of, like, it's not just item pickup, it's NPC interaction. Like, you don't need to be, speaking of the physics and the real reality, you don't need to be three centimeters in uh, real world space away from an NPC's face to be talking to them. 
um, you can perfectly do it from like two meters away. So uh, there's things like that as well where I'd like it to just improve interaction distances okay. are kind of across the board so you don't have to be so close to everything. Um, and doors would probably get the same yeah, kind what, of treatment. So what is a meter? Wouldn't have to like be, a special in, like, in Street Fighter? Touching them. Um, but I can't say exactly what that Please should God. be. Like yeah. what Just we're doing in POE2 is going through object to object to object and like customizing screen. exactly what we want that range to be that it kind of feels appropriate yet also feels okay to use on WASD. So even though POE1 won't have WASD in that regard, uh, at least that something like the interaction Imagine. distances are uh, ever. 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 Well, there's a ever, lot ever? needed for that. Um, it's a, I'm just going down the It's giant, just like, really interesting because I yeah, hate the idea of WSD, something. but after trying it, it was very good. Yes. Uh, most people are going to be converted. But um, yep. the... Okay, what's actually needed for that is we need the, the new character rig. Just thinking about this. In order to get the new character rig, you'd have to have all the new animations, which seems like a win, except not all POE1 skills will have animations on that new rig. So you'd have to do a bunch of animating. And in order to get the rig, you'd have to re-rig every single... You'd have to reskin every single armor in the game, all POE1 items, and all existing microtransactions. Now, that is being done for POE2. Um, so I, I could see a world... I could see a world where, like... A, some amount, probably like a year into POE2, we would be like able to have had all the items on POE 1 rigged in onto that rig, and thus it could port over, and thus you'd get all the new animations. Now, whether or not we actually want to do that, a different story, but uh, what? there is a world, but that would then give us the minimum is... requirement for... What are they talking about right now, uh, bro? WASD to be on POE 1. So, like, we're talking a way away, and yeah. that is... Like, this is a such a hypothetical if, future. You know what I mean? Like... Oh, and might, that's just straight maybe, objective resourcing. After that's consideration, not like a philosophical decision by any means. That in 2028, like, there's a ton, ton of work of that needs to be done. No, I did too now. They're talking about potentially in 2028. The POE2 delay is because they could not get the IKEA revolving door tech in place. What a travesty. If only they had contracted the VAL architect in the design phase of POE2. Uh, well, Shut up. Okay. How many is that a random map boss? Ban them. Uh, TTS? Yes. Yeah, 30 be, minutes next you know, TTS. I will get that confirmed. Um, it should be random. It shouldn't just be the same one. Uh, but if it, if you never know. It might have been set up that way. Um, so what can you get? 11 shrines? Can that sort of drop thing? anything? What? Like guardian maps? Like stuff like that? I do believe that's what that last line is meant to imply. It might have alt text that verifies that. I think it is meant to drop the guardian maps and the additional maps and all of that. What? Um, I can oh. verify that afterwards. Uh, and that's I can let crazy. You know, and then you can tell that's me what you crazy. want. But, um, I'm pretty sure that was intended. Very cool. Yeah, because I, I would have read the last line as just one. damage mods apply to it. I, I agree. I actually do believe I consider that to be unclear. And I'm hoping that has a reminder text. Otherwise, we will. Um, cool. I will get that verified if not oh that would be super nice why are awesome. you spamming this cool why what um, is the point man, we have so many uh we move to essence one <laughs> this is just essence wow. carob so similar to the breach it, one it, yeah is what it is we can yeah. just move on adds two essences okay essence okay. carob off ascent okay. that would be Our sick if it was like limit two of one so this is, I guess, it used to be on the passive tr uh, atlas tree and is now found on an essence instead. Um, no, essence is not rep. Uh, but not a huge amount to discuss there. Nah, um, I'll move on to three. Wait, no, what's wait. an A tier essence? What is so that? We only have four. <laughs> Very curious. Uh, I, yeah, I, three is. I haven't. Put what? Yeah, we, we can what? just read out the um, actual name. So essence scarab of calcification. It's just the it. memory. It's in um, the memory. Oh, wow. What? what? <laughs> this is it doesn't insane. include leak content, of course. They can't spawn out of a this breach. This is insane. And just in imprisonment, but all natural inhabitants, <laughs> uh, rare monsters, will be imprisoned in essences. Yes. Oh, that is crazy. So, wait, how um, many you're... maps or how many essences are you going to get in a juice map now? Yeah, what? Uh, oh, wow. Okay, well, We're going to all spam our maps for and then I three can't more rare monsters. The tree, so, I mean. And then, I mean, that doesn't oh matter, though. On top of God. this, you're getting 
definitely. What do you got? Won. Like fifty natural natural packs. I mean, you got about fifty and forty. I mean, it's seven. Okay, so if you take like a seventy thousand uh, effectiveness map, as we like to call it internally, which is one of the better maps, uh, like as in highest density of monsters, what you'll get seventy. What the hell? Uh, what is that? Man, you can see wow. like seventy packs, and you got fourteen percent. Uh, I mean, it's what like someone uh, do the math. You could get maybe ten without adding extra other packs that might um, get imprisoned. You. We'll get like an extra ten essence pack, uh, essence monoliths, I guess. That's fucking Maybe. wild, bro. Wow. And, and if this wild. doesn't Probably work with that. um any of the lead content like Legion, Breach, etc., right? Uh, it should not. No, but that would be hilarious. Kind of technically <laughs> you spawn pop the bridge. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just so essences. Cool. I will verify some of that as well because there is some interaction that I'm thinking about that I'm not too sure on. Uh, like beasts. Um. Well, I wouldn't say so much beasts, but you never know. Um, but more like, actually, that is the one that might. I, I would have to double check. Um, but uh, it could also be like, uh, if you add packs through other scarabs, I'm not sure if they like just random packs that you can get, which like what the sextants used to do. I'm not sure if those will count either. So there's some detail I'll look into there. But um, we can, if if you uh, if we keep some notes in this uh, in the like chat on Discord or to keep a list of the questions, or or I can get Nicholas is probably listening. He can do it. Um, we'll I give a bunch of answers afterwards as to verify how a lot of these work. So um, I wish I knew enough, but again, this yeah. is that kind of level of detail that I'm not really kind of, I'm like, this is cool. Let's do it. And then some little f decisions will be made along the way. And then oh, I'm I like, thought he was going to say fuck you know, or something. You can go either way with that as to what's like actually implemented. It's like some and little fun and uh, we'll just go ahead and that will be. Yeah. Some works. little fucker. Um, that's what I thought. Those things don't necessarily get told back to me on that level of detail. And then I discover them on live and I'm like, holy shit, this is too broken. What have you guys done? Or I'll be like, yep, sweet, perfect. Well done, little guys. little fucking rat. <laughs> um, but yeah. um, I am a little bit curious with uh, all of these things being reworked, is that going to potentially need a balance pass on the memories, like the essence memory mm -hmm. and things like mm -hmm. that? Um, possibly. I'd say I'm not happy with where memory lines are. Um, I think they can be a more um make them crazier a bit more of a core system and right now they're very rare very hidden and mm -hmm. some are broken and some are terrible yeah yep. and i think that just needs some love um it was on the cards for 324 but there was just no way we had enough time <laughs> this to do guy that got permanently so, banned for this i would say that's later it's the one rem aside from favored maps it's the one remaining thing that is actually permaband used on your atlas and that's something i like i like the fact that you actually have something that you can uh, you actually right click and left click on your atlas and picking a map is relevant and actually has an impact. Now that sextants are gone, but then again, that's not to say sextants were the right way of doing that. I think uh, we can replace. So uh, I have one other idea there. I I'll mega tangent, but hopefully it's all good. Um, Go ahead. There's a new scarab that is um, the divination. I, can't, I think it was of scrying or something like that. Um, and it's the one where it's like your favorite maps drop um, in a different... Uh, the map you're running drops your favored maps divination cards instead, or as well as, I can't remember. Um, I actually wanted to make a scrying orb that is something where you can right-click on one map, left-click on another map, and it will t move the divination cards drops from that map to the new map. And I still want to do this. Um, I actually think that mm -hmm. is a very good solution to the whole, like, I want to run the map I want to play. Yeah, I don't want to do Instead of having to run the one that um, is, you know, has the best cards. Now... I don't know if that would mean you can move six different maps to one. I suspect it'll start as at least as a one-to-one -one, uh, correlation, but okay. um, that is something I really want to do. Um, that's just something we were discussing recently, and I was like, I feel like this would help. So that Scarab that kind of does that in a different way we could, would be able to stack with that as well. It's not like an issue that they can both coexist, but um, I don't want it to be that the solution to that problem is finding a rare Scarab. I want it to be that this is something you can do a bit more often. Um, but anyway, that's just a random potential future teaser that hopefully may or may not happen, depending if people think that's a good idea, really. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, I mean, just looking at Chad's reaction to that, everybody's really excited with that. I did see some people are saying, won't we only run one map then? But I mean, I'm not against it. Yeah, what? <laughs> um, I would argue a lot of people already kind of yeah. do that. And yes, yes. maybe. Yeah. Um, we just get to choose now. Kind of some ways around that. 
Um, but I would argue that his... I mean, okay, the, here's the question. If you remove divination cards from the equation entirely, would everyone still just run one map? Yeah. And I don't know if the answer is yes, and I don't know if the answer is no. Uh, you obviously always get to the meta and the like majority we still doing a thing. Uh, but is that, I guess, how I much different would, is it I from what's happening still. right now? And it may be right. quite different. Yeah. It may be, uh, it maybe isn't. I, I feel like before we added that, there was still a, a decent chunk of you run different maps. I mean, yes, there was obviously the whole, like, everyone runs Gorge. Oh my and God, what a good SSF league runs. this is, man. Um, but we also had the capacity to, like, we, we can rebalance maps. Like, we can change map layouts. We can change densities of monsters and maps. We can, there are plenty of levers we can up and down. And we haven't yeah. really been doing that, honestly, for quite some time because, time. because ultimately what governs what maps are run is either it's the most efficient for boss running or mm -hmm. it's got uh, highly efficient, like the, the highest value or set of values for um, divination card acquisition. Yeah. But anyway. Another another thing as well that I was thinking of is like for example I always run blight scarabs in uh, carcass and things like that so you get more blight rewards. That's my strat. That's my Stop leaking like, my strat. Yeah, no reason to do a different map. Don't leak my uh, strat. Sure. Oh. I actually like the um. Is I like get the that shit nerfed say, on like, day um, one, man. You know, when you are when if people feel it is obviously good enough to run the whole do the ten way fights, which I know aren't as good as uh, just like spamming the guardians for mavens and whatnot. I would like to actually mitigate that a little bit as well. But when it is kind, when someone does choose to kind of do the 10 way maps and you're kind of just running whatever maps you want, I actually do think that is can be a quite a fun play style. Yeah. Um, but you have to be non, you'd have to be not uh, economically driven to really convince yourself to do that right now, which there are players who do that and that is fun. Losers. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want to make it that the uh, economically <laughs> driven decisions there play less of an impact, I guess. I love that. Um, yeah. Thank Which you. It's just a matter of balance and the balance not being correct. So Yeah, oh, I feel like so a little nice, bit man. of it is also that you have to choose between like Maven or Eater or Exarch influence. Like if I could Maven and Eater influence, that would maybe be less of a, a problem. True. Well, mm -hmm. hopefully at least now, uh, you can have one tree that does one and another that does another, yeah. and at least you can choose That's which true. one you're gonna That's do true. and change between them on a daily or hourly or whatever you want basis, and that is so much better for me and i i'm very happy about right. that so people are very um, excited for that yeah we'll move on to the harbinger scarab here this is um Ooh. harbinger scarab of discernment drop a rare mm. currency shard and drop a single type so it picks one and I only wonder drops what that. rarer means exactly so this, i guess will be if you get happen to get the fractured shard i guess is the the um the best outcome that can happen there and uh, that's gonna be fun you know, bro you might it's i get it'll, it'll have the same kind of impact as finding like the divine altar from eater or something Jesus. Of just like, come on hopefully it happens hopefully it happens and then when it happens you make no big shit money. um Wait, that's gonna be crazy i uh, it is still on is it still on there <laughs> That's I mean, gonna be we insane. haven't changed it in this patch, so if it is still on yeah. there, then it is yeah, still on there. Yeah. Uh, I just don't remember exactly. I, I, <laughs> you'd have this thing. I have this thing all the time where I'm like, I could say with certainty one way or another until someone asks me the question, and then I'm like, oh no, now I'm doubting myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, I get that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Uh, if oh, it's there, so cool, then yes, though. and if it's not there, then no. So, wow, that's very cool. Um, the next Harbinger Scarab is of war hordes they're duplicated cool wow. okay okay that's yeah. just literally multiplicative with the one from before not much more to say about that so now when you get the good thing you get twice of the good thing very very cool now are you a little bit worried that there will be like set ways like that people will feel like they kind of need everything before they're using anything instead of using like oh i'm just going to throw some in in white maps or yellow maps um with, okay, so because the scarabs are done by rarity, uh, so there's kind of like common ones and uncommon ones and rare ones, kind of. It's not exactly like that, but you know that that's ultimately kind of how it works. Yeah. Um, the intention is that like, yeah, if you get the rarest one, you're gonna want to use it with the set and probably with the tree, of course. Um, but at least with the more the the you know the kind of bottom or two top two or three uh, lowest two or three rarities highest whatever the ones that are most common um you will 
you should have the freedom to kind of use those whenever you want and not have to always feel like you're using them with a set because otherwise you're just going to have too many of them anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's not going to feel so restrictive that you have to get all of them in order to use them. But it will be the case that when you get the highest tier one, yeah, it kind of is a piece of a set as opposed to just something you use uh, on its own. So yeah. That makes sense. Next up, we have a Harvest Scarab. Maybe we should skip those? Um, uh, that's doubling. I mean, you can just, just look at it and move on if we I'm want. I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, it's duplicated uh, 100% more life. Nice. That's similar to the sex than before. Uh, yeah, I think I think I, I included some of these just because I wanted people to see that you know, like we have included some of the sex and Wait, things. Not just duplicated? I saw a lot okay, of people going okay. like, "Oh, this is gone and that's gone and that's going to go on because they just assume we're stingy and not going to be including true, them. And true. I just kind of wanted to give some They're examples of me. some of these. But again, yeah. we're going to post the full set so uh, people can see that for themselves afterwards. Perfectly just oh. fine. Thank I'm God. now showing the cornucopia one. If an area contains the sacred grove, it'll contain up to one additional tier four seed of each type. Of if each possible. type. That's wow. crazy. That is wild. Uh so yeah, that's obviously that's a thing. Lot more of the the boss. Seeds, Jesus. The boss yeah. Wow. That's awesome. I like. I mean, one of my favorite things is synthesizing items with harvest. So that's so cool. Um. We'll move on to Incursion. We only have He's one just like, yep. Incursion, <laughs> yeah. and this is Timelines. Incursion? Oh. Itemized Temple. Yeah, so we've got Final Architect it's dropping an itemized temple. temple, and the itemized, itemized temple drops are generated based Yo, on the current what? temple layout, but with randomized room tiers. What the fuck? Um, so, yeah, the, 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 the temple you're building is relevant, but, yeah, the tiers will be randomized. Um. Can this Honestly, drop I think we added that bottom ends. thing because it was too good. Uh, say again? Can this drop dead ends? Like, can we get a breaked temple as a drop? And you're like, ah, that'd be funny. <laughs> um, I think it probably can because it's based on the current layout. And I'm assuming, uh, yeah. again, this is that detail I don't exactly 100% know, um, but I'm assuming the layout is matching what it is. So my assumption is if you're early in the temple and it drops, there's a probably a good chance that it will not have all the connections. Uh, and if it's like dropping later in the temple building, it will m m more likely have the connections. Um, I could be wrong. There could be something specific implemented there, but yeah. I would assume that's the case. So I already have a follow-up question. If there, so it says that the tier is randomized. Is it affected by it at all? Like it's more likely to give a tier three corruption chamber if you already have one? Or would you be benefiting from as soon as you see there's a corruption chamber, you start running with this? Uh, I would assume the tiers are straight up just randomized. So it's either one or two or three, and then there's right. nothing really influencing that. Um, so, you know, you're not always going to get good ones. Yeah, he's going to do screenshots like this. But at least at the end of the day, you're still getting a, an additional itemized temple, which may be amazing and may not be. Um, Very cool. But yeah. It sounds like you still want your corruption chambers and your gem chambers and, you know, like. Absolutely. Uh, I guess you're more likely to now want explosive rooms if yeah. the layout thing works the way we had. Uh, if it is actually random and you might have dead ends, so at least that will uh, inf increase the probability that when these drop, you can fix the connectivity if, if it works the, the in actual randomness. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're going to do that's screenshots a, that's after a really this. really cool idea. There's, There's so many like, neat and interesting new things here. After this, they'll release them. Um, after they uh, tease them up. Yeah, um, Octavian actually was the one who kind of designed most of these, fun fact, and put all these yep. together. Shout out oh, to him. Wow. It was Octavian uh, yeah, I mean, obviously input for from the a bunch of others, but yeah. um, And the Atlas he, pages. He kind of spearheaded it pretty early on. Well, I think they're being received pretty well. We're going to move over to the Scarab Influence. Um... Tier 14 maps have a chance to drop a Shaper Guardian, Elder Guardian, or Crunker, or unique synthesized maps instead. Wow, so you really want to like juice how many maps you're finding. Jeez. Uh yep, fuck? definitely. Um what the fuck? I don't fuck? know what that chance is. Yeah, what's the chance? It's probably undergone a number of iterations and balance, so even what it maybe was is probably... Chance uh, is doing heavy lifting right now. What I remember it to what it is. That is, is heavy what I lifting. It to be, but um, nonetheless, yes, it should be that you want to maximize the amount of maps dropping, which ideally would give you 
a lot more of so you might want to run this paired with a number of map scarabs i guess combined with what is that five percent twenty five percent you min max your capability to get uh, yeah bosses do you know if this is like a five percent chance or yeah. an eighty percent chance? Like some yeah, sort of ballpark. Yeah. Honest, at this point, I have absolutely no wow. idea. That's fair. Yeah, man. I don't even know if I'm going to mention, say what it is because if it's if someone didn't put it on there for a reason, so yeah, yeah. Um, it could be yeah. a mistake. It may not, but um, yeah. I no, I have no idea, and we will just see. Um, hopefully, it's enough to feel it working, as opposed to just be like, maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, you will notice it working, obviously, because if it it's if very it binary, right? Those maps yeah. can't drop normally. So mm -hmm. if you're getting them or not from the boss, you will notice it working. So hopefully it um, is impactful. This is one of the rarer... It's on the rarer end of things. Uh, so it should be that it's quite good and you're not using it like ultra commonly. 50-50. Either it does or it doesn't. Um, we'll yeah, move perfect. on to the there Legion one. There's so many. I love oh, that. I so many. Eternal Conflict. Wow. Um, this one's a little bit crazy. Um, so every time you break them out, they have more life than before. Um, so it's harder to break them out a second time. But like, if you can go ballistic with as much time as possible, uh, like I saw, I <laughs> internally we had a thing where what the where, fuck um, does this mean? There was they have a maximum. Uh, I think it's a diminishing returns actually on the amount of the chance yeah, of them like to how... respawn with a reward, which is kind of how it works in um domain of timeless conflict. Um, because at one point I remember. Uh, Octavian was testing it and he had a monster that had the reward symbols going probably like six screens <laughs> to the right. Uh, yes. Um, the, the, yes. You could run halfway across the map and there would just be six <laughs> reward symbols stretching across the, the whole map. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit more balanced, but it's still pretty crazy right now. So Headhunter and Jurors are really going to enjoy this. Um, yep. They will. <laughs> yep. 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 That's so cool. Ah, oh, these are great. Yeah, I don't know. Um, They're still balancing, probably, but that's that crazy. The Legion one maps new to cartography scarab of ascension or a tier or higher up to a maximum of sixteen. Cool. Right. Okay. Uh yeah, pretty straightforward. Just trying yeah. to min uh, max your. Uh, I mean, this would also give you more tier seventeens technically as well, uh, because your fifteens will now get converted to sixteens. Um. Which would then have a chance to be become seventeens. Uh, oh, okay. That technically works. Oh, that. okay. I see. I understand. I understand. Okay. That's, Off you know, corruption. I think we we knew about this one, Our right? This, this is one of the six ones. Really cool. Yeah, this is one of the sextant ones that people were convinced we were removing. Which mm -hmm. this is really we cool. Are not. Um, nice. you know, I can't remember if this works on seventeens or not because technically they're unmodifiable. Uh, you know, I don't know. You could go either way. You could argue unmodified super, super uh, modified supersedes corruption, which I think it does, or corruption supersedes unmodifiable, which would seem a bit pointless because then you could, because no, you can't val orb them. I would assume that tier 17s yeah. do not get affected okay. by this, but that would be that's fun. A bit of an assumption. Yeah. Would that not be fun? We have a cartographer's scarab of duplication. Maps oh, limit two. Be duplicated. And I guess that will pair really nicely with the uh, the boss one, and it's the yep. 60% chance because there's a limit too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. Okay. Exactly that just for your for your bosses, really. If they yeah. are removed and rage, wow. strong yep. box. Yeah, with blight. Yep. Let's yep. See. Shut the fuck up. That was five. All right. Scarab miscellaneous one. Monstrous Ooh. lineage. Magic pack size 40%. Okay. That's fun. It's like the yeah. So that's, we have that's a we, we tried to aside from having them all just like adjacent to leagues, we also wanted a like bunch that just kind of can intersect with a bunch of different yeah, yeah. leagues and buff them. And this is kind of one of those. There's one coming up a bit later. Um, that you want to remember this one. So remember magic pack size, and mm -hmm. you'll see one of the ones coming up later, and you'll uh, <laughs> associate them for sure. Okay. But obviously, this holds its own regardless. So yes, is pretty, pretty good. Scarab of Adversaries, four mirrored additional mirrored packs monsters. with mirrored monsters. Huh. And this does not make you immune to reflect. Um, no. So what I'm, I'm pretty sure these will also be imprisoned in essences, by the way, just thinking about that earlier one. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is an example of it probably ac will work. Uh, yeah, that so would be silly if it didn't work. Um, right. What did you ask, sorry? This doesn't give us reflect immunity. 
Uh, no, it does not. I mean, it would say it. Expedition is in the map. It does not. Logbooks are not in the map. As people uh, like to, well, as I've said recently, deal with it is kind of my response to that one. <laughs> I will. Um, what, I'll you try, can, I'll, what you can do. I'll try. I'll try my best. Um, <laughs> Scarab Miscellaneous 5. Scarab of Stability. Oh. What? Does this mean you I'd can have more than more six a... people in your map? Oh, my. Uh, no, there is still a limit on the number of people within a, in a map. And no. Six. Um, Wait, but, what is this? Uh, what? This is, I guess, you know, like you'd run For your T17 maps. You don't, don't want to really <laughs> risk it. This is what you'd run oh with it. Oh my really. god! I mean, you could run it on others as well, but I wouldn't Who's expect to use have this, this one man? on hand all the time. Who the fuck is using um, this? But yeah, so hopefully, I mean, it could. You could still only get six, but at least if you're thinking like, no, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill this, you can use this with it. To Hell try yeah, nine portals. Give some extra this is chances. not the TPB scare. I paid for twelve portals, Stop. and I'm going to use them. <laughs> Or just get more loot out, I guess, which yeah. ZHP softcore culture. Necessarily yeah. that will uh, present itself very frequently, but <laughs> we have a ritual one next. Selectiveness. Re rolling has no cost the first two times. And I love re rolling favors. It's just free. One additional time. Nice. It's just free. And you can use it twice. Wow. Yeah. Straightforward, limited to two Jesus. again. So technically, it could be the first four re rolls. Um, yeah. And yeah. Okay. You can reroll two additional times. I mean, I we need more ritual rewards. Wow. Let's see the next yeah, one. Too. I love the the limit thing was such a good idea. That's huge. Yeah, I agree. It came in quite late in the process, actually. Um, like it was. It was <laughs> Face uh, is. I don't know. Probably a good two weeks of them being in a spot where we were doing first testing before we actually discuss doing that um yeah. so five it was a great strong box kind of so obvious as well and yet again we none of us really saw it until 20... quite a bit in so yeah <laughs> what? Cool. um okay there's got to be an enraged one there has to be an enraged one treasure still in the game so you can have like 50 60 strong boxes in a map now um yes it is if you go forward one more there is another the <laughs> is the monstrous treasure equivalent um so yes you can use there's got to be an enraged one though technically you use three of the ambush go the so plus 15 on top of the containment one. Oh, Here you can, oh wow here contains many strong oh, but areas we, that are lying in ambush. i haven't actually checked that that's the, just uh, monstrous what the fuck? But do we still have the um that's special, insane the like shaping of the skies that's just a monstrous treasure that's a monstrous the treasure special scarab. map crafts there or are they gone i actually what? didn't check i we kept, I think we removed Monstrous Treasure from that oh. because it's a scarab now. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm pretty sure that one is that. I think we still have that node. I could, I could be very wrong here. I We had so many discussions about this. Um, but yeah, now, it, now Monstrous Treasure should be removed from that. I do remember specifically mm -hmm. uh, talking about that one. Mm -hmm. wow. uh, uh, that makes sense. Huh. That's very, oh, this, very interesting. This is, um, this is your monstrous treasure one here, effectively, yeah. Yeah. I would say a lot of people are asking if we have the 500% the quant thing still, but I don't know if you want to touch on that. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, you'll get the full list later no. and we'll find out. I, I genuinely do not remember, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember specifically removing it, but like... Pff, flip of a coin at this point again um this a is a lot of changes like, yeah it, honestly it's too much to keep on top of myself like i um it's just i mean it's so much <laughs> um i don't like i still haven't even read the patch notes by the way wow. I don't, <laughs> what like like there are just things that are, that, like the people will I, there are still changes in there that i don't even know about and that's fine and that's how things have to work by the way it's not like one person can know all of this yeah while this is going on while mm -hmm. i'm working on two games at the same time and you know, true. it's, That's true. it's a lot um but again this is why i play as well because i want to learn all the things that i don't mm -hmm. know and otherwise i'm making decisions based on information i don't know and that's not good uh so he's the yeah. director what very good he does remember so he's I, a liar no he's not off the fumes how the um, fuck are you saying that are these enraging fumes monsters you have any idea have what it's like to have a whole company underneath you do you think you know literally every single change from the Azerite mine 
You're out of there's your fucking mind, man. I know there's a limit I on think this he's just one, lying. So your, uh, reverse yeah, oh, he's stuffed, lying. Oh, you know, uh, this, this is the world in your head. Bit, he's lying, and um, uh, actually, GGG secretly hates Magic Find players, and they're out to get us, and they think that we're ruining the game, and it's like a war against them, and he has to hide the truth from us because he knows we're going to quit, and we won't play the league if there's... Like, shut the fuck up. Because what the it fuck it are you saying, it in man? A radius around it, of course. Um, get the so fuck yeah, out of here. It's pretty valuable, but in the Go same get a sense, job, bro. You know, depending on your type of build, uh, you might be having a little bit of a hard time getting to really that's, benefit from this one. From which me, is a thing I like, by the way. I do like that certain things appeal to certain builds more no than you. others. Um, I think it is we have so much that is universally good for everyone. Wait, what it's is this? It's completely fine to have some things where someone feels like if I play this, I get to utilize this one better than other players can. I think that is a generally a good thing. So Wait, this, this is, is enraged kind of one of those. soul fight. That'll be very interesting to see what Empyrean and crew does. The that. inhale strat. Holy. Um, <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> we have an Uber CRF next. All monsters are at least magic, and then we have hey, 40% back size. Hey, wow. that's crazy. Uh, so this one's a, this one is more, I'm curious that's to see what that wild. group is. Um, yeah. It's, it's kind of crazy. Jesus. Uh, the map's kind of crash, isn't it? <laughs> um, no job, no maybe. bitches, no say, corrupt not, fever like expedition <laughs> into oh. um, awesome. Yeah, the, the next set of these, so these are, as you said, Uber uh, is in the file name. Um, these are all, you can see from the art, they're all a little bit special looking. These are all a little bit kind of more almost meta-like. Um, they don't really have any league association. They're kind of just meant to be about combining with other things to do. And you do not expect to run these all the time. Like you would have to be very, very, very wealthy. You can do it with trade. Anything is possible really. But like you're not going to be finding a lot of these. They will be rare. They will be expensive. And we have, a, we have a lot of these special scarabs. We have an additional six. So we'll move on to the next one. Um, okay. okay. Off the Nemesis. Of Nemesis. Nice. Uh, yeah, so I even don't... though this at front, face value seems like a just He's a in our chat. Um, That's the more scarab. modifiers they have, the more drops they drop. And the higher the probability they have for like those kind of reward mods, even though we've gutted some of those. Yeah. Um, they so yes they will yep, they, they are enough. harder but they also will drop more and better items well i was gonna bring it up later i'm just curious um the gem xp and things like that was that like was that all very intentional and, and what was sort of the reasoning behind some of those well it was intentional but you could argue it was unintentional for it to do what it did um right. so i guess um this is the thing where okay so during the campaign it obviously had you could look at it as a win because it's now my gems are always at the level it needs to be. But often what was happening during the campaign is you just ended up with your mega list of gems down the right hand all in gray and you can't level them up because That's... they're overleveling your character. I liked it in maps. That's not a good thing. That was yeah. certainly not intended. Um, on like the other hand, maps. obviously you get to end game and it's nice because it now it yeah. feels like your gems are hitting level 20 yeah, more yeah. aligned with where they, you would want them to be. And I actually agree with that part. But Hell yeah. Oh. Um, I... I want to do some changes around here, and I'm not exactly sure what to do. I haven't thought too much into this, but thinking about it now, like, imagine not I would want it. CF to farm all that like, okay, stars. imagine a world where, um, imagine well, okay, maybe people are people happy with this or not. I'm just going to put it out there, actually, and I'm 07. curious what you think as well. Should it be that your gems level all the way to level 100 and even beyond that? And, like, let's say current gem level 20 balance is put to gem level 18 and then we cap gems at say level 25 so like if you keep playing they keep leveling and like what? just as a random thought experiment <laughs> like should we explore something like that because we've just been stuck we haven't changed this formula pretty much forever we've had gem level 20 yeah sure we added awaken gems and you got an power and light and etc but like should your characters, and I, I get gear will continue to progress you, but yeah, should should your gems continue to level further than they do right now, or should they hit a cap earlier? Like, what, is, what are the thoughts there? Like, I so genuinely care. My initial thoughts is <laughs> I don't like the idea. I can see this being really good for somebody that does play a lot and stuff, but it does create, like, a bit of a weird power imbalance as well. Like, yes, it is very true. nice the way it works right now. You get 21, you get your yeah, 21 gem. That's it. Like, that's like, I think it's already in a very good state. Um, I definitely 25, Jesus. think it was a good thing. So right now, 
we were getting level 20 gems somewhere between level 90 if you were very lucky but at least before 93 so that you could flip your gems and and stuff like that reasonably and get them pretty quickly back up whereas before it was sometimes even like level 95 so it was like almost twice as slow. yeah i i agree i mean it didn't i guess it was balanced around we made so many incremental changes over time that allowed you to get less penalized XP for your character. And because gems get non-penalized experience, yeah. it ended up the case that you were getting higher and higher level and they were getting lower and lower level relative. Um, so I could just see some adjustments being there necessary anyway. And I could see that the rear mod was a kind of band-aid for that. Yeah, It just didn't do it the way we intended. So I will... Well, I, well, I, I certainly now have it because I did uh, read a bunch of stuff about that. I do have it on the list for at least 325 uh, to kind of review, you know, reevaluate exactly when do we want a gem to hit level 20, ignoring that whole other feature aside. That's just a thought experiment, yeah. um, which, you know, uh, but at least the hitting gem level 20, I do want to. And I would say like hitting that around the 90 to 92 mark is probably actually what I would consider to be around right. Yeah. Um, so maybe lower yeah, I, the XP I, from 250 to 100 or something. Uh, yeah. I mean, I would, I would, yeah, we'll adjust it for sure. I, I could see. I mean, I'll discuss it with people and see what other people think, and there might be something else. But, um, I agree that, uh, if your gems are hitting 20 at like 95, I'd say that's too late. Mm -hmm. Um, because I agree there, there is enough in the game that you can do after that point especially considering you have to live often level many gems to 20 and you're just mm -hmm. doing that over and over to get for corruption outcomes and whatnot. Um, it's not like you don't have stuff to do. So if all of a sudden now, yeah, you have to level to over a hundred to get a max level gem, to be do blah, blah, blah. But yeah. And again, thought experiment, because in yeah. that world, you would also remove all that other stuff and that makes things less interesting. So yeah, I mean, ultimately it's not great, but um, sure. That will be reevaluated. Oh. Uh, I can't say it's going to happen in the next two days, but uh, yeah. you never know. Yeah, maybe. Um, I mean, and and for the thought experiment, I think a lot of us would rather see like more awakened gems. I think they're very interesting with how they like change builds, especially mm -hmm. the ones that do have something uh, build enabling. And yep. just just Agreed. out of curiosity, um, have you ever thought about that? Like double crafting a gem turns it white. Hmm. Like that could be one of the. Upgrades. That would be uh... sick. That's kind of cool. That's a good idea. I mean, that is something we could probably cool. consider That's doing cute. at some point. That's cute. I mean, that doesn't also have to be double corruption. It could be a different outcome somewhere else that you can right. do or something. But I, I mean, I see what you're like making a gem be considered like white or effectively saying it can go in any color. Yeah. Uh, Who let that boy cook? It's a, uh, it's a cool feature. It's nothing. What the hell is that? Email? As long as it is like end game, what very the high end game, fuck? the thing you do kind of at the end to seal the deal. Um, on yeah, it doesn't have terms. to be from the gem so, double corrupt, but. It'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's interesting. Um, all right. Off horned scarab of preservation. Yo, what? Wow. What? Okay. Um, hmm. this is That's a classic so FOMO sick, scarab, bro. Uh, yeah. We are now all of a yeah. sudden you don't want to use any other scarab unless you have this. Yeah. But thankfully, <laughs> it's so rare that that is improbable to actually happen. Um, Jeez. I understand. Like the rarity of this is why it is allowed to exist um it is highly improbable that you're gonna like well there might be some people who are going to hold on to other the other ones until you uh, have this um uh, but then again you no are way. juicing your map less and if you're using all these other uber scarabs you are aiming for maximum juice so yes you you might want to actually use this but then again like getting these is going to be absurdly this expensive is gonna just and absurdly be priced rare for to the point where like whatever the hell you know that's effectively best. like saying, I'm not going to, I mean, I don't know what the actual comparative drop weighting is, but it's effectively like saying like, nah, I'm not going to run my best scarabs unless I have a mirror. And it's like, well, at some point you're just holding on to something for no real purpose. Like you're not, you're not you going to be able to reasonably do that. So. You have not watched me play Skyrim. I never use potions or anything. Until <laughs> Hell I yeah. Well, we'll see. <laughs> well, yeah, some people might, but um, yeah, a little bit of controversy about this one, but I think it is ultimately as powerful as it can get and as like yeah i i agree it does that but again it's and it's also affecting like we're talking pinnacle of pinnacle kind of tiers of mapping and juicing and whatnot and it so. does take up a slot yes it does yes it, it has an opportunity cost of course yeah um 
Cool. I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, worst case scenario, you could even nerf it. That has a limit of two and 50%. Oh, uh, that wouldn't work. Never mind. Oh, uh, ignore that. We'll move on to the next one. I think we saw this I one mean, last time. You could night, just right? make it 50% and keep it as is and make it less rare. Uh, which yeah. is a potential, like if, like if it doesn't work, then that's uh, on the cards. Um, but we'll see. So this one we you showed in the video already. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. yes. So this was last night, right? But I wanted to explain it a little bit. But I yeah, mean, I guess yeah. I mean, it was kind I've of been asked a lot of but, questions about this too. Um, so, mm -hmm. so this pretty much for every league, uh, it gives a duplicated version of it on the crafting bench. Uh, and it gives that league and then some extra thing. So it's effectively like if you want to actually min-max your leagues, that's the way to do it. The second function it serves is that it can be used uh, to nullify, as in the prefixes and suffixes will have no effect. That includes the quantity, rarity, pack size, and the downside. Um, but it, I saw that as primarily a, you want to use that on tier 17s when you have modifiers that you can't. Uh, so you can use it to juice leagues, or you can use it to run tier 17s that you, your builds normally couldn't. Hmm. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen too often. I suspect more than likely you'd just trade or swap it with someone, or just try and overcome the challenge or adapt your build a little. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> she says she has crazy be baby fever. It's it's, fucking, too it's to over. actually utilize it for it's that reason. It's over. Um, and in which case, I could see oh a future where we split this out into a separate, oh, that functionality to separate scarabs. And we um, and we oh, use God. like because maybe that you want to be able to do that more often. Um, so it might have been it might be that having oh, just have the two functions is a bad decision, but um, we'll see how that plays effectively and see. But it also has like the capability for a scarab to add more crafting bench options is something that we can have design space around in the future as well for doing just whatever else we want to be able to do. Um, but yeah, effectively, it's for Super Juice League. I mean, I'm not changing anything I'm doing. I'm just... that you normally couldn't be able to run. I wouldn't expect you to ever waste it on something below tier 17. Yeah, because uh, a concern some people had with this was that aren't you only ever going to use this for just one thing? Because it will be rare and expensive, so you'll only use it for its most expensive purpose? Um, quite quite probably, condoms, bro. Yes. What uh, what Which condoms, isn't necessarily a problem. Um, no, but that's it. That's 30 minutes. That that's 30 minutes entirely ideal um but again it's not even funny certainly possible and again we can always balance up and down those things like that kind of implies well we don't know what the meta is going to be for end game we don't know what people are going to necessarily use it for yeah. um and there certainly are players who aren't just like i'm going to use it for that but yes it will be economically priced around that and thus they will sell it yeah. for that i, I get i get yeah. all that again these aren't necessarily problems because at the very least what it means is that when you find it, you are like, yes, I just got a bunch of money. Uh, that's like in-game currency. That's true. That is a valuable, a valuable thing to have, right? Like at the end of the day, I'm hoping the scarabs have added a lot more dopamine to uh, drops in in-game, just world drops, right? Like you're just playing, and now you have a lot more opportunities to find something worth a lot. Uh, hopefully, it ends up being that way. And have we been told yet where these, like the special scarabs, drop from? Oh, just world drops. Oh, okay, cool. Even those, okay. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so it, it's, um, I am a huge proponent fuck, of world drops. What the drops. fuck are you linking? I, awesome. uh, I think it's, I, I mean, I, oh, what is even this? changing the, I don't know, I, the whole like I'm double, two and a half mine. times in the drop rates of the extreme uniques and pulling back what? on the yeah. stack decks and random div card and stuff is like, I, I want to farm my maps and get things and mm -hmm. not have it to be that like most of them are coming from these random other sources that i am choosing not to do because again mm -hmm. it has an impact on choosing that is the game's there is an inevitability to this but that is the game choosing how i play the game because yeah. how can you not be economically focused you can not be but most people are um and so the moment that that's happening uh where it's like you should play this league because of this and that's the max best way to get to these um, and then you feel obliged to do it. Like, I don't like that because I want to play the game the way I want to play it. And I want the game, everyone to play the game they want to play it. And yeah, I, I understand that that is often not entirely the case, but I will always strive to try and make that the case. Um, it's just that that is often not very possible. Yeah. Uh, just due to like metas, balance, information sharing, it, it's a very hard thing to do, but at the very least, I don't want it to be that you feel so pressured to do a single thing that you 
like that everything else is completely out of the, off the cards. This is cute. So, I like this. Play yeah. The big thing with the end game, this one. Sorry, one more thing is just. I, get... I want you to play the game. You. I want you to play the game the way you want to play the game. Um, and so this is the whole. Uh, you know, the thing I'm talking about with the scrying orb goes further down that line. I want you yeah. to play what map you want to play. The multiple trees. I want you to play what leagues you want to play. I want you to play. I want if you want to do yes. bosses or not. I want you to play it that yes. way. Yes. Because that's how Preach I want to play it. it as well. And I don't ever want yes, to be forced King. to do a single thing or feel forced to do a single thing. Um, now, it's easy said for me because uh, <laughs> I, if, I force, if I feel forced to do something, I just go like, why did I do this to myself? Uh, whereas <laughs> obviously everyone else is, uh, why are you doing this to me? So yeah. I don't want that to be the case. So. Wow. Yep. Yeah, no, like the reason I asked was because they were named Uber and there were seven of them. I was like, are these Uber only drops? But yeah, cool. Very cool that they're world uh, cool, Yeah, co coincidence. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That we designed crazy. more than seven. We just didn't get to the time to make more than oh, seven. Okay. So you might see some future. Well, you might see some ones coming through. Very cool. So we'll be potentially getting more. Um, I did open. Uh, certainly at, at some point. Yeah. I did open horns. Also, the scarab tab is going to be massive. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. going to be a big one. <laughs> um. Ah, oh, yeah, damn. I was meant to have a picture of it. Uh, the way it's actually sorted oh, we've is like... have already seen it, right? Uh, there's kind of like sets of three at the top, then sets of four for the ones that... Because there's some that are leagues or pieces of content that have three, and then at the bottom there's the sevens. But each of the little sets has the league symbol next to it, so you can kind of more easily identify uh, the type of content they belong to. We can yeah. post a picture of it later. Um, it is a lot more readable than it was I think we have before one. even, and it is now. Oh, yeah, I think Nick's sending through some pictures there. I don't know if you can bring them up or whatever, but at some point, um, might be a oh. bit hard to fit into your... Yeah, no, I can. Um, yeah, it is very large. Let's see, I'm just going to save it. Is he throwing there. it up on stream? Oh, someone yeah, we, posted it. It was in the oh, reveal I can't, see, I can't see the names of who posted them, but I put... Oh, yeah. Oh, I was in a video, so some. Oh, yeah, it's come from chat because it was in a video. Well, mm -hmm. um, yeah, here's some the. Point, the oh, it was probably in yeah, the video yesterday. Huge. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, Bro, where are the deli scarabs? I want to see more of that. Cool. Yeah. Um. There's got to be a is faster there a deli, right? That this tab is going to be borderline mandatory. Is that something that you guys yeah, have discussed? Well. Um, Stash tabs kind of are borderline <laughs> mandatory, right? Like. I wouldn't say it's something we've discussed. Um. Right, 109 item slots. I mean, we at least increased the stack size, but certainly, yeah, the stash tab stuff is a little bit kind of like obviously in that controversial space. I generally try and kind of stay out of that, but I understand why I sh probably shouldn't. Um, we definitely, I understand the level of like necessity our um, stash mm -hmm. tab purchasing kind of is in that realm. Like, well. it's pretty. You, know, you could argue a lot of our special text, ones are kind of bucks, in that man. mandatory territory right now, for sure. Who, who um, gives a shit about this? I'm sorry, if you're hand, playing the like, game, dude, I'm sorry, if you're playing the game that much, you have to I really spend five bucks, spend 10 bucks, whatever. It's like 750. Bucks. I'll think about that, actually. I will bring that up. If you're getting that many scarabs. I feel about that, but I suspect the answer is that we're kind of okay with it. But yeah, um, just, you have to buy it, man. I'm sorry. You never know. This is the this is the age of questioning original philosophies. Um, for sure, and kind of questioning where we're going, and mm -hmm. especially with POE2 and the works, like it is like the amount of stuff that we are bringing up, discussing, and questioning is is kind of boundless right now. So I'm just going to add it oh to my. the list of things that we should make sure that we're actually happy with. Cool. Yeah, it's just curious. Um, it's so cool how much stuff you're revisiting and uh, rethinking. Donk got banned for that. Nice. We yeah, have I, I think it is important. For you, brother. I don't want to be that, like, you know. The, How long is the time? I don't want to be one of those like back in my day. We had to do something, blah 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 blah. You know what I mean? Like I'm, yeah. I'm all about trying to not be the old dinosaur kind of thing. And I feel like you just have to own uh, it. Yeah, it phased I out. agree. Like, I've certainly, I, I always try. You and have to be unapologetic. Sure you just own are, it. There are some things like door opening where you know you're not. Sorry, man. You, you know, you've been you playing for forty hours. There, but um, <laughs> spend seven dollars and fifty cents. I still have some beliefs that won't change at least yet. But you never know. Yeah, right, like twenty dollars gets you. Your currency tab, it gets you the fragment tab, and it gets you some premium You're tabs. Very good at identifying what's wrong, but not always how to fix it. If I remember who said that. Like oh, that, that's, that's minimum. Yeah, it's true of most things. If you're playing life, that really. much, uh, yeah. I get it, man. It is 
20 bucks might be That's expensive the classic, in your country, um, give them what they, you just need, have to deal what with they want then. as well in game development, which is pretty important. Um, People got to be easy incentivized to play. Like, it can be pretty brutal in a um, situation where you, you do cave and just to do the thing that is wanted and you do cave on your philosophies and forever regret it and never be able to undo it. And so it is important to really take the time, actually identify the problem and actually give the solution that is right. And yeah. an example of that going wrong was the like left mouse button thing, right? Like uh, straight up, that is a like rush to decision where we did not give it enough time and give it enough thought. And as such, the conclusion is bad. Um, that isn't necessarily to say we're giving people what they wanted. That's not, a, it's a little bit different, but what I'm saying is like, if you don't give it enough it. proper time and actually consider it and give it enough time for testing and iteration and let people feel it out. $5 super chat. What does my league start? I'm playing people might Hawk not DD? necessarily believe that. I mean, it is one of those things where if you increase like the item pickup range, we cannot reduce it ever. Like that is it. It is stuck Thank there you, now forever. Um, and so you cannot get that wrong because if it's now wrong, you just have to deal with it. And it sucks to work on something where you're just like, I made this mistake and now it has hindered this forever. Yeah, uh, and we like, just have bro, to deal with it. Out of every single it's fucking game out there. Like, to like be incentivized to spend like 20 bucks on PoE. I mean, come on. If you're ever going to support like a fucking dev group. Anyway, I don't know where I was going with that, but we can just move no, on. From it's good. That was one of the things I wanted to talk about as well. Because the community has been asking about and, it. And it's like, it's not $20 it's every league. It's one time. The, the I haven't bought supporter packs in years. Straight up. Until you find a solution I'm sorry. You are happy with. I got, I, well, I don't again, have I am happy. Shit. I am and I've been fine. I, I do still believe, and I have covered this a bit, that this is the lesser of evils. Like for years. Um... For years, but, for like eight, nine years, and I've we have done some changes every around months. that and whatnot, well, and that is for now, but. cool and good. But um, I would like to do a better solution later for sure, where it becomes for both not evil at all. Yeah, true. Um, yeah. so yeah, I, I I stick by that. I believe it is currently in a better state. Um, and yeah, I, if it wasn't, if I didn't actually believe that, and if the others here didn't believe that as well, um, and I'm not saying everyone here believes that, but you know, a good set of people, and we've discussed it. If I didn't believe that, I would revert it. Like okay. genuinely, I would. We would straight up put that back to what it was, Holy. and then we would take our time and do the proper solution. Cool. And a lot of people are not going to agree with me on that one, and that's perfectly fine. Um, I would just say play it and try it and see how you actually feel and how it actually um, adapts your builds, because that is one insight that we have that you do not currently have. I know theoretical is oh often God, just as good as practical, but in this case, gamer. I don't know. See What's how you feel. Starters. Two weeks that was a crazy I'm delay on Super Chat. One week or one day, you, it's completely out of sight, out Octavian of mind, Blight. you don't feel any different about it one way or another, and it's like, I would put it as another phrase or another way of like, uh, I know this isn't a great because it's a bit of a cop-out, but there are much bigger fish to fry. Um, and so it's kind of like, would you really, would do you want us to be solving that, or do you want us to be solving... Uh, you know, some other mega problem that I won't necessarily say right now, like trade. <laughs> you know, like, polar is that you're say? He's got a big dick, dude. <laughs> Transfer, um, you thank know, you. Like, thank you. I want to pick our battles wisely, and doing the, this yeah. fix the right way is going to take a decent amount of resources. Effectively, what I like to do, just to give a bit of insight there, is I write, I like to gather all the problems. Mm -hmm. I put them all on a board and I kind of write like here are my tier one problems, my tier two problems, my tier three problems and kind of like, That's fair. okay, we That's have fair. enough to do this, 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 That's and this. Is this the right set of things we should be fixing this time or changing this time? Um, and then, but then you see all these other things that you don't have time for and you're like, oh, that'd be so good to fix, like so good. So you kind of try and get them in there anyway and then you end up with overworking and overscoping and causing a problem. And so like, that can have a, a pretty negative impact as well, obviously, yeah. when you, because now you're doing stuff without giving them the time. And so, like, but do rest assured, we are doing like everything possible that we can. And I am trying oh to actually God, make sure that the we problems being God addressed gamer. are, I do believe, and it's others believe here, are the bro. most important problems that we should be fixing. Not Thank everyone you. will agree that every problem has the same level of importance. Yeah. Um, that's a good wage. And that's just where it comes in. And obviously, that's where the QOL bingo is very useful. Yeah, we're, um, we are going to talk about that after the solutions. We'll get to that one, yes. Um, but anyway, we can continue with the scarabs. I know. Okay. Yeah, I like corn. to rant and tangent. But... No, it's great. I think people are really enjoying this. Did you say a, corn? It's, it's very... I'm enjoying it a lot. Horned scarab of tradition. Corned. All rare monsters in the area have at least one reward modifier 
Uh, players modifier to item rarity and have they not talked not to, this has been on the screen for 10 minutes they haven't talked about this yeah, so yet i wanted this one to be like you know you obviously what the fuck? this one you could use without feeling obliged to have to run a magic fine character because otherwise you would be like i'm obviously going to save this until i'm an mfa mm -hmm. and i don't like that whole you know yeah. holding out on that one until you are so yep we just pretty much went with the like Give something super rewarding, but also make it that any player feels like they can do it and they don't need to run some MF strat in order to do it or MF build in order to do it, which I think is pretty cool. So question, it does say player modifiers. Does that mean if you're in a six man group, that will work? Uh, yes, that will work. Yeah, yeah, sure. Aren't you worried that you'll sort of have the same problem? Like I won't run this solo. I'll feel forced to run it in a six man uh -huh. group. Um, well, that can be said about mostly everything i guess like you could argue one way like, it is play, the case that in a, like you get the most out of your map there i agree with you and again mm -hmm. this does have opportunity cost your map is not as juiced as it was so like you can argue whether or not it's better um but that can be said about the whole game like is it better to run multiple people or is it better to run solo that is an eternal argument um and i don't necessarily think it's necessarily one way or another um like coming from the aura bot guy here <laughs> um, I obviously like running in parties. Yeah. And then you know what happens? We get like a little bit later into the league and my f friends are all, you know, fully decked out in gear. And all of a sudden, Bro, all I'm doing heck? is following poor, around an immortal, Mark. completely powerful character that has no reason, no issue killing anything anyway. And I am now getting 70, well, 50% of the drops of which is, you know, it goes up by what, like 31% quantity Guys, please and some take rarity me along per in your player, group. and then that's divided by two. So, like, now he's getting 40% less drops because I'm getting my portion, and he's probably thinking, like, fuck, get out of here. I don't want you with me. Like, <laughs> you know, but at the start of the league, they're like, oh, yeah, run support. Come help us out. And then, like, a week later, true, it's like, can true. you just go away? I don't want you here. You're taking my items that I don't need you for. So there's, like, for someone who knows, you know, that benefit, it is certainly the case that, uh, you know, I end up being a hindrance because I'm taking someone's loot. So, you know, I, there is an eternal debate here, and I'm not, mm -hmm. again, going to say it's perfect or where it should be right yeah. now by any means. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't know if people will hold off on that one for that. But, I mean, uh, if they do, they do, I guess, is also yeah. a thing. Um, I was just curious. Yeah. That was a great answer. Um, I have two more. Actually, Does DD worse, yeah. play as smooth as Tornado um, Shot? Are you what, what the fuck are you asking me? Uh, and they dead versus Tornado. So this, this is kind of like that um fuck a wide or a who of... map, which yeah. I'm sure most people don't know how to pronounce. Though I think I heard people calling it the Waka Laka Laka map and stuff like that. <laughs> um, it's like that, but obviously without the light hey, radius. James. It initially had the light radius in it, and then I was like, oh no, no, no. <laughs> like. For each, well, now everyone's just recently? running, what? saving this until they have their maxed out. This is insane. Still. What the um, fuck is so this? Even though that sounds fun, I don't think it's right for kind of core content like this. So yeah, um, this is one again that is like, yeah, if you're a magic find character, Dude. um, you obviously this still benefits you, but you are so deep into diminishing returns that it won't be uh, as useful. Uh, however, if you're not running a magic find build, this is obviously going this to be far sick. more useful for yeah, you. Yeah, what the fuck? Kind of same principle. So. We tried to focus on some that are like can be used by any player as opposed to just like following the whole dead eye and magic find build. This is that's really fucking cool. So Actually, that's really cool. That will still probably happen, but yeah, uh, that's at least cool. these can be used to kind of uh, really bone, take bone your will be okay. I want to get as much as possible, and I'm confident that I'm not gonna die. Your gear will be more expensive though. Run, yeah, you know, either but, you or know, what, are you, what, what else are you gonna play, man? With for melee. I do want to potentially LS prompt champ, a do. tangent here, but I'm, I'm really curious since I saw it says recently, and recently it's not too bad, but nearby can be a little bit convoluted. Like, instead of having a number on it, it's like every nearby is different. No, second is uh, not going to start now. Nope. Nearby, I mean, <laughs> it's almost a bit of a meme at this point, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it um, is. I think it's like nearbys are consistent within a given context now nah, in fact i don't even want to say that you know what i actually don't know um I, I would say that like is this how much of a problem is this really uh i mean it's not contextual to this one obviously uh to the scarab i don't know yeah. if any of the scarabs have anything nearby um and then you're getting a bit of the like in your presence is another thing you have which is like what does that mean as well and how is that not nearby um 
but yeah, I agree. There's some weird inconsistencies there. I think, so Mark 1, uh, the other Mark, handles, I'm Mark 2, by the way. We get numbers here. We uh, There's no Mark That's 3 That's so yet, sad. Thankfully. Uh, and then some people, you know, we have, Mark and I have had a long feud of, um, I, I say the Mark 2, the upgrade is better. And he thinks that the classics are always truer to the core. And so him and I, are, you know, we're That's at contentions cute. about That's who's cute. the better Mark. Um, I would just That's say pretty we'll, cute. We'll, we'll, we'll never know. But um, <laughs> uh, he's the one that handles a lot of the descriptions. He's the one you see on Reddit doing all the explanations for how mechanics work and all that. Mm-hmm. Like that guy is a hub of knowledge. And um, uh, I think he also is like, you know, working the, the best try. he can with the designers requesting shenanigans, which of course I include myself in that, where it's like, nah, I want this one to be 40. And he's like, oh my God, here we go. Um, and then another one, it was like, well, let's say like 60 is too high and we have to nerf it so it gets lowered or something's too, needs to be a bit bigger. And then it's like, now you can't use nearby, but you still kind of want to because otherwise now the descriptions are getting a bit out of control. And, you know, I, I, look, imperfection is certainly the case, but it falls under the category of like bigger fish to fry again. Yeah. Um, like these aren't just immediately solvable and they may have an impact on balance. It may okay. seem very, very, very easy. And that is true. But like, even like a couple of hours of work has a cost, you know, yeah. like we don't, we are working full time. We don't just have infinite resources and people that can handle all the stuff. And so, um, you know, one day I'm sure that we will get around to it. No, in fact, I'm not even sure about that. One day we will hopefully get around to that, but um, it kind of is what it is for now. Awesome. Um, seventh scarab. This is the last one. Listed as Uber Horn scarab of pandemonium. Wow. Oh, okay. So what is this? I'm pretty sure this is the same deal boss? where they do get the drops and the extra map bosses. Uh, what the, the extra, fuck? You know, the map drops and the guardian drops and all of that as well. Um, that's crazy. I'm pretty sure that's what we're that gonna drown in fucking so. guardian and synthesis wow. maps. That's this a is lot. sick, yeah. bro. That's so cool. Some map bosses everywhere. Wow. Could be pretty fun. I'm pretty sure it's random. Yeah, it is. This one actually indicates random, where that other one didn't, which makes me think. Like they work differently, but I have a suspicion it's just someone did the descriptions on one and not, and someone else did it on the other. Yeah. I will verify that after this and make sure that they actually are either intentionally working differently or uh, will yeah. be made more consistent descriptively. And here we have the last scarab. Oh, air contains the nameless seer. Yeah, because why not? Who is that? Why not? <laughs> Um, obviously, so, obviously they don't cost dust because there isn't any dust. It's just he'll give you one. And oh, it's uh, a guy. Like I think in Affliction, it took all of oh, your just, dust away when you bought so it. That's so fun. Yeah. Uh, in this case, it will just you just talk to him and get a unique. One. Um, it's not completely random uniques. So it is like it has some sort of biasing to make it so that like more uh, rarer ones are more likely to be there and stuff like that. So mm. it is a better than normal unique. Nugamba. It's not just plus one random. Nugamba. Unique. Awesome. That was that was all the scarabs. We got through them. Wow, there's what about so Venom many, Just play Lightning Strike, man. It's better. Too, so we haven't even seen all of them yet. Unless you like the, you could play Venom Gyre. It, it uh, okay. Yeah, there are 109 total. Um, and I think well, what was that like 30 or something? Yeah. Filled with a whole bunch of my rants in between. That's crazy. I I love how many different ones and how much like player autonomy we're getting. I didn't see the deli uh, ones either. Or the game there and agency like very. They're cool. leaking them all though. Um, is there what we're about to move on from teasers? Is there anything else you want to tease or talk about before we move on to the next um, topic? Um, drop the mic on us, bro. I think I got through most. I did want to go over like some of the Gravecraft stuff. I know. Yeah, that's um, the next one. We can one. go over that. Technically, some of that. So we could just get into that. Is all good, and I'll explain how some of that works and. Uh, um kind of it starts to kind of show how powerful it can be um so let's see where that goes um cool i, think I, got I will that as well. i'll probably yeah i'll start by loading the image of that and then we can talk about the league mechanic and things like that sure, oh, i need to resize sure find, it a bit find it also that way i don't have to deal with delta is a stygian a minion one an expedition Oh, experimented. Okay. Okay, I've got it too. Keeping the All base right, I mean, type with the highest level down, requirement. But um, I'll give a bit of background on just like the league itself. So, um, twenty percent chance to create a mirror copy. As That's you, so fun. You uh, kill uh, monsters that are haunted, which you can kind of configure when you create uh, an area during this league. Yeah. Um, you can. Uh, they harder monsters. 
and uh, you can get them to become collectible. So they're, they're a special looking ones, and when they die, um, they can be collected, and the uh, Undertaker comes out and takes them back to the necropolis, um, stores them in the morgue, and then you can go back there and do some um, crafting. I will point out, I'm gonna. Uh, there's a couple changes here. Um, so yeah, oh. you can store a limited mount in the necropolis. But the first thing I notice is on the top left, you've got an 11 out of 27, assuming we have the mm -hmm. same image. We do. That 27 um, is the capacity, but we have actually just expanded that. I think it's like 60 now or something. What? So, um, you okay. can store a lot. And because we were having annoying pressure, um, I like, you want some pressure. You don't want to have infinite storage. Um, you want to feel like you should engage with it or itemize them and trade them. Um, but that's another thing you'll notice. Like a lot of leagues we don't release with things like itemizing crafts and itemizing the capacity to trade them um and we just end up with like a um a pressure and then you kind of just have to engage with the trading except you feel it might feel lossy or you're missing out yeah. we've tried to kind of make sure that you can trade them you can itemize them and you can yeah, do you can that. itemize and whatever the also, good ones are um, due to the, shit, like, whatever you know, making sure this was on alpha i'm sure it will feel the pressure i don't know uh we have increased the storage size recently uh apparently between when i um took the screenshot and now which i think probably was yesterday, um, we've increased that maximum storage limit to like 60 or something like that. So you can have 60 collected corpses, uh, crafts at a given time. Uh, might be 50 something. I don't know. Some number if we around can delete there. them, I think it's fine. Yeah. So how, um, how often are you anticipating that you go into a crafting session? Um, so it, it's early in the game. It's quite, it's a lot more frequent um, because uh, you uh, okay, you're you're just wanting rare items, and you don't really engage too much. Man, I did not know the sixty was the storage. Doing. I thought there that was how many you get to like, use for uh, all of your crafts. Sets the minimum links to X and Y. Well, it's the number the of mods you could add. Game, uh, more like sets minimum to four, minimum to five, and stuff like 60 that. Sixty total stuff like that. does seem a little low. Um, but you aren't a caring too much about what they're doing early in the game as you're progressing through. But like, if you just want a targeted rare item at any point, yeah, you just go make. it. So if you want a better, if you think your amulet's weak, just you can go literally craft one corpse at a time. Um, during the live stream, we had a uh, like. Really? What the? Uh, I know this is a concern some people have brought up, but when you craft, he, the guy obviously appears and reads his whole dialogue out, and it's real epic, and his voice is awesome and all that. But it's also like, okay, why are you telling me I got to wait like six, eight seconds? I don't even nine seconds. I think it was for each craft. Um, so we've done like a short version. So if you're doing less than I think five corpses it does a short version and if you're doing more it does the longer version um so he cuts half the dialogue out and he just reads the last like the punchline so to speak um so at least like we've made it more efficient there um but you still want that little bit of time to give a little bit of suspense to be like especially when you're doing like 50 graves at once and you're like oh my god this needs to be the best item ever like please 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 because it isn't deterministic, it will be. I'm sure people were going to find effectively deterministic ways to get things, but that's fine. Break it as much as you want. Um, but you want that, like, please, 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 please be good. And so you get that, like, bit where you're, like, sweating and you're just like, oh, my God, I'm using This is, like, a hundred divines worth of corpses I'm using here. Like, please be good. And then it comes out and maybe it is, maybe it isn't. And there's that moment where you mouse over it and you have that, like, kind of, you know, your heart stops for, yeah. like, a little bit. So I like that. I like that kind of... That is free fun. craft that is stress, which is way more dramatic than just like hit craft and the item that immediately gumba. changes to some other state and then you can immediately see the difference. Like it adds way more drama. But I don't want that to be the case when you're like just spamming single items. So yeah, we've done a short version right. uh, just for that. So anyone worried about that from the live stream, uh, be less worried. You could still argue it's not short enough, but um, I yeah, that, maybe that more changes gonna... can be made. But... That was going to be my follow-up question. If this is something that people don't like and, you know, if they've done this for like a month and it's like, wow, I'm getting really tired of these animations when we're crafting like 2,000 items, is that something yeah. you would be open to? Like either like a toggle to skip that or? Um, the way it's set up, skipping it is hard, but it can be done. But I don't think I want that because I like that suspense and I don't know if it will. I don't want to do it based on a theoretical problem yet. Um, like if that is a problem, we will adjust it. Um, mm -hmm. I actually find it's quite like you're not just like I'm going to do a hundred things, do a craft, and then immediately I, like do another hundred. Right? You have to collect all the corpses or at least yeah. trade for them all. There is to do really good items. There is going to be a decent amount of time between them, and so we're talking now. You're like sacrificing nine seconds every 
X, like, you know, some large number of maps, it's kind of like the, yeah. the, it's the proportion that matters. Whereas if you're sacrificing nine seconds every single time you do one item with one grave, like that's a problem, 100%. So um, I don't know, just see how it is. And then uh, I'll either respond with here's a fix or I'll, I'll either respond with a deal with it and we'll see where that goes. Um, Holy. Probably more so we'll adjust it because I, <laughs> why not? Yeah. Um, <laughs> however, um, okay, so these graves, I mean, uh, yeah, so you get collecting corpses, the harder the modifier, and uh, the more likely that they will yield a collectible Holy. corpse. Um, so making the league harder gives you more crafts, uh, mm -hmm. and making the league easier gives you less crafts. Um, so there is, uh, but obviously making it easier has checks other, out, the benefit checks of out. being easier. Um, so of yeah, course. there is a, you can control your own difficulty, but you want to make it harder to get more of these. Yeah. So that's just some very preliminary context into them. And so what we've got here is a number of crafts. Um, if, I guess if we go to the top and look at the physical plus 100 to physical modifier tier rating. So okay. that's a little bit confusing. Um, and we've gone through so many different versions of this, trying to figure out how to make it less. The way that works, so plus 100 will mean that the bottom 50% of physical modifiers will not be able to roll on the item. What? Uh, so you have obviously your tier one, you have your merciless, your tyrannical, etc., all the way down. Forget the names of all the others. The bottom half will not be able to. That's I, I, really on your good. stream, you might want to. Yeah, uh, get I've done it. Yeah, there you go. Um, wow. Uh, that is yeah, really the bottom good. half will not roll, and it makes the other ones more common. Um, so, but not, it's like kind of proportionately more common. It's not like that waiting loss goes into the waiting directly. It's kind of like, right. um, it's a little bit nebulous, but ultimately it does cut off bad mods. And this is something obviously people have been asking for with a lot of stuff. So this yeah. is us kind of trying it out, um, so that you can't get your like plus five life where everything else is T1. Uh, this is a way to get around that. Um, so yeah, if you run enough of those, you can cut off everything, but, uh, you can cut off everything but tyrannical and merciless, for example. Like I don't care about the stream or interview. Who is Polar Bear? It just means that that is the only option if the uh, IPD was to roll. But they still have a waiting. Mm -hmm. The waiting is still all mods oh, consider geez. their waitings together, so it's not like it becomes deterministic. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But it, what it does, the determinism means you won't get a bad one if you got one, um, which is cool, and you can do that for like a lot of them. Right, thank uh, so you. So there's plus fifties and plus hundreds. Plus fifty will cut off the bottom third plus 100 will cut off the bottom 50%. And then if you did another plus 100, you cut off the bottom two thirds and then so on and so forth. So it's mm. compressing them up, up into a point. Um, there's some like kind of, I guess, nuances around that where it's kind of like at some point cutting off to rent, you probably actually want to only cut off. I know this is like some advanced player mathematical yeah. stuff. You, you probably only want to cut off up until... Uh, Tyrannical, so keeping Tyrannical and Merciless, because if you cut off Tyrannical, um, Merciless is so rare that like you still probably won't get it. So if you want like, but if you're looking for best in slot, like you still want to, this is still your way to get it. We're certainly doing some internal mega grave crafts and you're getting multi, like triple T1s and whatnot. Like it is certainly very plausible, um, but it takes a fair while. And this is the one thing I really like. So a lot of the crafts are um, binary but a lot of the crafts are like, you want to stack as many as you can to get the highest probability to get this thing. I don't think and the crafting is going to be, be too like, big, brain. No, nah, I want to get five more. If I get five more, I'll be comfortable. And then like you get five more and you're like, oh, I don't know, I'm still not, I'll get a few more. I'll get a few more just in case, just to damn well make sure I can't, you know, I get this thing or I can't get that thing. And, oh um, my God, and then ladies there are some and gentlemen, we got a God gamer. Yeah, I mean, some of the others are pretty crazy. Why didn't you get um, an interview with Triple oh, So yeah, that's how that top one works. Uh, not big enough. Um, I was wondering how is all of I think this it's just that man <laughs> in a group? Thank you. Uh, for the super I chat. I think we have it. I, I'm going to double check all this because we went through a number of iterations, but I think it's the classic, like when you collect it, um, everyone has a like 50% chance to get a random other one. Biggest um, POE streamer in like Wisconsin. That, which I, obviously now brings into my mind, like if you're, I know when your necropolis is full or nearly full, he comes out whenever you collect a corpse and then you can talk to him and like itemize them or cremate some stuff or whatnot. So we, I need to, I didn't, I actually want to go double check how that works because in party, I could see a case of like, 
you're not getting your bonus ones and you're unaware because it's full. I think it does output in text as well that it's like your thing is full like or it's getting close. I'll, I'll just double check all of that's there. But and I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's the classic. Like a lot of leagues do that. Like Essences, for example, they just have a chance to drop a bonus one for each party member and stuff yeah. like that. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't give the exact same one, though, I'm pretty sure. But again, I will add that to the list. We'll add that to the list of like things I should go verify afterwards. Um uh, you... just because we go through so many iterations yeah. and I can't remember exactly where we land, but I always, I'm the, I'm the aura bot guy. I try and make sure the leagues work in a party and <laughs> makes sense. I, uh, when they, when they don't, I get sad. And uh, you mentioned you like getting full. Is this something, can we delete bad ones or do we have to pay one? Yes. Chaos thank, to you, one? thank you. Uh, thank you. Can, there'll be a little flame symbol so you can cremate the corpse. Okay. Uh, you can <laughs> just fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. um, and you can do that. And you can do that in That's the necropolis funny. in your hideout and in the, and in areas you can, he can That's come nice. in. That's really He comes nice. in when they're nearly That's full. Huge. You can bring up this UI and you can you have a little cremate symbol next to all. Um, but, uh, and then oh, you can go to the necropolis and do it while looking at them on the table. Or you can do it in your. You can invite them to your hideout and do it from there as well. So, awesome. um, you can do it pretty much from everywhere. Yeah. And another thing, like I don't want to. Wanna, th okay, my so white time loaded. Still have to do the bingo. Look, go through too. Um, so I'm trying to be a little um, bit I'm, conscious. Of load time the here, wide times. I'm still good on, load them. On time. I'm, I'm awesome. pretty happy to just keep going. Wide so time load. Okay, that's more than happy to do that. Um, what I wanted to ask, there's a lot of like unique, different stats that we um haven't seen. And um, we can still influence these as soon as you see a wide like time items, rare post wide time, and um, use it either Eldritch currency or exalted orbs, etc. Uh, yes, you can. Can you? I don't see why you wouldn't. It creates the item, uh, it should be that you can do that. It might, I think it might be that some of the mods are in the same Look family. at those cats. So if you can say, for example, get plus one charges from this, I think then that but oh is in the same God, mod family as we call we it. God as, um, gamer. Uh, Yo, uh, victory plus one charges. I'll be able to get like, double King, up on that. Thank but you. I'm actually not too sure thank if they you, went King. that way or not, but I'm, I feel like probably it is going to be that way. I'm just not a hundred percent certain, but um, there's no restriction on uh, doing that. So yeah, and what we've, we've got like a, one of the crafts is like plus one ethics. And yeah, we are finding that like end game, you, you actually don't want to use that you generally craft four or five FX items so you can then do some level of manipulation to them afterwards. Oh, cool. um, that's certainly a thing that is happening. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's what I was mm -hmm. thinking. Um, I think we move on to tier 17s. Uh, we can. I, I, there's a couple more things on okay. here. If we, we can, can, we can talk more so, about the league mechanic. Um, obviously, belt is a Stygian vice. I'll just have go through some stuff. Yes, you can customize the base types. We have that for heist weapons, the minion rings, uh, minion weapons and stuff there. You can see um, the Stygian vice one has an orange border. It's not meant to. Um, that's oh, only okay. for the unique ones. That's a bug. Um, I thought it was just highlighted I, or something. We fixed that yesterday, but again, I was like, I can't be bothered taking another screenshot. Uh, the, <laughs> the way you get those is from the itemized packs. So... There are like itemized abyss monsters, uh, itemized yeah. packs that all flame members. You put them in, but you can get one that it drops exclusively from abyss content. I think maybe only from depths, and Ooh. that one will be the one that can give you this. So you, there's a couple of, and same with the experimented weapon. That pack, that all flame member can only drop from heist content. So some mm. of them are like you really want to. Um, you wow, want that's to really like, cool. You know, you, there are rewards for running different types of content. I like that. that I um, really like that. That's sick as fuck, in the man. League. Um, Yo, Lang, you get a, a heist corpse. So if we go mm -hmm. down, um, some of these are pretty self-explanatory, but we'll look at the 20% um, chance to create a mirrored copy. Yeah. So that can, obviously, you can put five of them, you get 100. Huh. But if you put 10 of them, you can get 200, and now you get three of the item and so on and so forth. So if you're doing your, like, ultra epic crafts, there's always these things where you want to, like, put as many as possible to get as many as you can out of it. Um, again, it might be a bad item. Or it might be the best item ever, and now you've got a whole bunch of them. Wow. Um, same with Fracture. So that's like you put four of them, one mod's fractured. If you put another one, it's one mod's fractured with a 25% chance of a second mod fractured, so on and so forth. You can just get it with all six mods are fractured or whatever you want to do. What? So um, some of these, again, you okay. want to be planting a lot of them or burying okay. a lot of them. You want to, um, oh my God, ladies you know, you cannot see sure my you get up, kind of the best results. Uh, and you can easily see how you can fill up the entire kind of graveyard of 
We've added more graves lately, but it's like nearing like 80 to 100 kind of territory. Oh, my God. oh ladies and gentlemen, we got a god like, gamer! You, know, so you could be, easy, my you could be doing a project pretty rarely, or if you're trading, you could Thank be doing you. projects Thank more, you. more frequently. That's so cool. Um, but again, yeah. And so while yeah, side, damn. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be broken in some way, like, of course, of course that's going to be like broken that. bro and that's insane happy with that um there might be some level of broken that we'll have to be like oh yeah nah this is not okay um but um we'll see but um yeah i'm very keen to see what people are going to get out of this um there's all kinds of meta ones as well like in here there's like one that's like yeah, requires there was at least one multiple king james of the same monster name to get a vermilion ring so that's kind of like and i don't mean name as in like the randomly generated name that's just like uh, you know, you get a devourer, you or need a second devourer. And oh. uh, when you, you plant that and then you plant another devourer that has, or whatever, if that vermilion ring one dropped with a devourer and now it'll create a vermilion ring. Mm. And obviously the uh, ones that override the base type are uh, mutually exclusive. Um, it's meant to prevent you from planting things, uh, burying things that are going to like conflict. So if mm -hmm. you have a bone ring one down already, you then can't also put down a minion wand one. Uh, that is what it's meant to be. And the same yeah. with like, if you plant, put down the unique ones, you're not meant to be able to also then change the unique to a bone ring because that will do nothing um, because the unique is a specific unique and not a random unique. Wow. It's going to be not so that. fun to look at like the different stuff people come up with and videos about different combos. Um, well, sure. All right. Well, I mean, that's enough there. We can move on to whatever yeah. you want to now. I'm pretty, pretty happy with Yeah. Next up, we have um, mm -hmm. tier 17 drops and stuff. Hey, did you um, steal a credit card, man? Why are you giving me so much goddamn money? A lot of people money? have been asked a little bit more about, like, specifically how they're obtained. Like, it's getting goddamn we, we suspicious. We are not be running them permanently, right? Unless um, you're buying them. Well, again, <laughs> trade. Um, yeah. Permanently is no, right? A tier 17 cannot drop a tier 17. Yeah. So they're not self-sustained. Um, and that is intentionally by design. Um, tier 17s, obviously there are, like, the mods might be too hard and stuff. Your factors OG. as to why you might not be able to run them or might be able to, or maybe you save them for a different build or a different character, or maybe you trade them away or whatever. There are going to be ones, or you use that scarab and, you know, you get around some mods, or you change your build, you know, there's all of that. Mm -hmm. But then there are, uh, so there's the drops. So void stones are the things that give you the chance for them to upgrade. Yeah. Um, now we display, we showed them at 0.5% per 0.5% chance per socketed void stone, which is kind of effectively how grand spectrums work. Um, now, I think it's been lowered to 0.4, but I'll explain where our intention is uh, with how many you're getting uh, shortly. But the way that works is, so it's not 0.4 plus 0.4 plus 0.4 plus 0.4. Plus 0.4. Um, each one, so the first one is 0.4. Uh, then the second oh one is... Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we got uh, a god 0. gamer! 0. 0.4 times 2 plus <laughs> 1.6. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Hair character yeah, holding his belly laughing Whatever that math goes. Um, so it ends up with, uh, when it was at 0. 0.5, it was 8%. So two, uh, 0. 0.5, then 2, then 4, then 8. So yeah, times uh, 4, then 2, then 2, I guess. Um, so you end up with like a... Whatever math, someone in chat can do that math for me. Um, 1.6 times I'm, I'm in my 30s someone now. just types out that stuff YouTube stickers. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's, it's around there. Like, and chance to convert a T16 to a 17. Yeah. Um, okay. And uh, pretty much, though, what that, because you're like, okay, what the hell does that mean? Um, ultimately, when we were like, we've done a whole bunch of sampling, say, at like, here, you're running a red map, you've mm -hmm. got like, pretty much, oh, you're at tier 16s, you've got most of your Atlas filled in and like an average thing, you're doing kind of like, you know, mid-tier roll, alking a map with some basic investment here and here, and like you're averaging one to two scarabs and all that. It's kind of like, how often should you be getting and running a tier 17? Mm -hmm. um, and we're kind of aiming for like a one in five at that point. Wow. So obviously when you're juicing, okay. juicing, you're getting more than that, but okay. uh, because the That's drops have a, do have a diminishing return. 20 so, maps for an Uber um, boss. Seven or six point four percent or whatever is actually it's decent. I'm um, sure it might sound low, but like you know, you can get a decently large amount of tier sixteens in a map. Um, so you'll get the first one has that chance to convert, and then sequential ones have less and less chance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, this is because initially when we were doing it, we were balancing around super juices, and we're like, which means your average person who's just like Alkin going is like pretty much never going to get them. 
because the differential between those two in terms of item drops is just enormous, right? So yeah, um, yeah. So we're balancing around more regular players here and doing diminishing returns instead. It's not I a thing that. we we don't often do diminishing returns, but in this case, I think it's warranted to give That's really the good. average player a better experience. Yeah. Um. Or someone who's it's nice for like SSF as regularly. well. Regularly, like fresher um, starts. So, uh, what else is there around that? So yeah, as you get more void stones you get more opportunities to do tier 17s. There's a few other little things about the drops. So for example, um, a specific map can only drop a specific tier 17. Oh. So running different maps to farm. Now, now this is good and bad. This means if you, I just, I just want to farm my Crimson Temple or my Cemetery, it means you're getting the same tier 17 always. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. Mm -hmm. This could be a good thing and a bad thing. Like it might mean you want the diversity and you want all the different tier mm. 17 uh, tile sets or layouts. But I'd say this gives you um, that agency. You can yeah. now go, okay. I just want this one or I just want that one. And if you want to do multiple like different maps with different atlas trees and stuff like that, you can do that and aim for different tier 17s. Um, now that's relevant ideally because you, you're choosing what boss you want to get, which you can choose the... Uh, unique they drop and obviously the tile set and thus the signature monsters and all that because some of those can be pretty brutal uh, but you're also choosing then at that point what uber fragment you're farming yeah. um, because now it's not a one tier 17 to one fragment oh ratio God, each boss can drop four fragments but it, uh, the it's biased Thank you. towards a specific three okay so if you want to get certain uber uh, uber pinnacle bosses, you want to farm specific tier 17s to I really get like higher that. efficiency. And yeah. if you want to just get all of them, then you can just map freely. But you have the control there. Um, it's like not completely deterministic, and that's fine. Um, but yeah, you will generally, if you want to be like, I want to target uber X arc, then there'll be a specific tier 17 or set of tier 17s that will be better at giving those um, yeah. than the others. So but eventually you'll trickle all the other ones as well. So one thing I was uh, wondering about, because obviously right now access to Ubers, is it's super accessible, right? You just click a button and then you're running the normal limitations. Um, how much yep. less accessible is Ubers going to be now uh, that they are completely split? Um, well, obviously a lot less. Um, there's not, well, you could argue like, you know, how common were Guardian maps before versus how common are Tier 17s now? Um, you do need five of the fragments from the Tier 17s. Mm -hmm. And if we're saying an average player gets one in, um, uh, one in five rate average maps, then to get five Tier 17s, you need to have be doing 25 maps, to, uh, 25 Tier 16s. Oh, 25. Dude, I can't count. Um, but then the Guardian drops were like... Um, what was it? Three percent base for a shaper guardian, and then another three percent from the tree, mm -hmm. which is like a six percent chance for one guardian. Um, now that's not necessarily that's like where those generally come from from just spamming, and obviously you can invest into heaps of ways to, you know, duplicate your maps and all of that, and you can still technically do a lot of that. Um, but yeah, I'd say there. I mean. Almost certainly, I'd say they're less accessible, but I wouldn't say by too much. Okay. And I'd say the tier 17s are quite challenging as a nice bridge in between that anyway. So it's like, okay. it should be, uh, like, I think it'll make, I, I like it in the way that it's going to make it that, yeah, you're doing them maybe a bit more occasionally. Um, you can also still do the non-Uber Pinnacle, non-Uber Pinnacle bosses, in the meanwhile, while you're still mapping, you're still getting all of those mm -hmm. and they have exclusive drops. So hopefully the value of doing them is still something Yeah, um, that might come boss to boss, meta to meta to control that. Uh, but yeah, you would ideally be doing some level of like pinnacle or uber pinnacle bosses enough that you're, you're going to feel satisfied. Um, that isn't necessarily like, yes, there are probably some people who are happy just like, no, they're not unique, but they're you know, unmodifiable, doing some sort of, you know, ridiculous strat to get as many as possible and just spamming them all the time. Yeah. And that might now be harder, but also you can still trade for that and you can certainly, you know, optimize the amount of them you're running. Um, but yeah, the different drops also means, and if they are more scarce, it only means that the drops from them are more valuable as well, which is yeah. obviously a good trade off that happens. So. Um, yeah, I can't say with certainty one way or the other, but that's kind of generally how it works and our expectations. And 
It's always changeable. So yeah. Um, I did want to inquire a little bit about the design philosophy difference there between obviously we already in the game right now have normal at Ziri and you run normal at Ziri and you get the Uber fragments mm -hmm. versus now this is from a completely different source. I, I would love to hear you talk about that a little bit. Yeah, Where's I've Holly? talked about this a little bit, but um, just to reiterate there effectively like you fucked it up. What is the fun? I'll ban you in my chat for that. Okay, like, okay. the first time, it's kind of fine. If you were to, like, I do Shaper X times, and now I do Uber Shaper, maybe you fail. Embarrassing. Perfect. But let's say you now conquer Uber Shaper, and you want to do it more, you want to utilize it, you want to farm from it. And then I'm telling you, the way to do that is to farm a bunch of this content that you have already proven completely capable of doing. Like, it just becomes boring. Mm -hmm. You have to do multiple shapers to get to do Uber Shaper. And you could argue, well, it's just one. It's still the that same problem. Super boring, I don't want though. you to have to go and do a bunch of like content that is clearly trivialized to you. Okay. Like the non-Uber version of Shaper in order to then be able to do the fight that's worthy of your difficulty. Yeah, I love so that. So that's where the tier 17s are, the kind of bridge between that difficulty where like, and because they have randomness and mods, like... A tier 17 might be easy and then the next one might be very, very hard. So, like, there are going to be points where they have certain modifiers and they actually might even be harder than the Uber Pinnacle, but at least they're different. Whereas, like, Shaper versus Uber Shaper, like, what's, like, again, if you've conquered one, the other is just, it's not, it's not entertaining yeah. really at that point. It's just kind of like, That's fair. you know, wasting time for no good reason. I, I was also curious about if you are able to give or want to give a indication of the difficulty, like, are, Obviously, they have very different mods. Um, so maybe maybe talk about without mods, but like compared to like Ubers, Elder Guardians, Katarina, like what's sort of like difficulty level? Like where are they sitting? Two times a Hydra. Um, they're meant Roll. to sit between, you know, between the current uh, Pinnacle and Uber Pinnacle, kind of ideally in the kind of halfway mark. Okay. Uh, maybe, but that I would say that's like kind of base. But the, honestly, those modifiers are absolutely freaking hectic like you get yeah. some combinations and you're just like yeah this is this is brutal um so it's very 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 swingy and because you can't get them without modifiers um it's hard to even see them how they are without them i like, feel like i'm gonna fucking yeah. there's some, sell a lot there's of some those maps. crazy stuff there so yeah it's 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 Jesus certainly Christ, man. the easiest ones will be like it's so hard to get it's so it's so uh, to quantify difficulty is very yeah. very difficult um, uh, anyway, they're meant to be if can, the, they, look. They're meant to be the pen ultimate difficulty, right? They're meant to be the second to top tier. But with the correct with the modifiers, they easily become harder um, in some ways, and and often in ways that aren't like. I would say the Uber Pinnacles hardness isn't like m difficulty from mods isn't the same as difficulty from uh, mechanics. Yeah, like difficulty from mechanics is more skill oriented. Mm -hmm. uh, your capacity for your brain to effectively be multi-threaded, paying attention to several things at a time, all of that, where like mods can easily become like, you know, you I might have to overcome it. this with gear, I might have to overcome with this a build, or maybe I just have to have higher reaction time. Like, there's a big variety there, and it makes it very, very different to, to be able to quantify. So like, you could argue it makes it more difficult in a unfair way on some axes, and that is what makes it different. Um, but it certainly is, yeah, like, Ideally, without mods, things are extremely tactical, and with mods, things are taking in a little bit more like character build. And I can't, I would say personally, I obviously prefer tactical because then it's just straight up yeah. skill. Yeah, obviously, I want that. Probably most people want that. Um, but I also like that you can build a character that can conquer this, you can build characters that specialize in this. Um, and that are better as well. And you can, ones that overcome certain mods, and that you can't necessarily run every map which you could see as a downside, but you then go and say, well, I will either trade this away or I will make something that allows me to conquer this and I will overcome this challenge with my gear and with my character. Um, these are cool things that appeal to different play styles and different players. Like, um, As much as something being skill-based is fun for me, um, having the capacity for your build and gear to make it like the higher that gets the less skill you need is also something that Path of Exile is just all about. So... Getting both best of both worlds, ideally. Um, but yeah, I, you know, Those you always have people so brutal, very, man. very divided on this topic as to yeah. like, you know, where that is. And yeah, anyway. And were Deep they rewards? affected by your atlas at all? Ah, uh, yeah, you can fully juice tier seventeens for the sure. Graveyard ship, bro. This is gonna be uh, fucking nutty, busted crap. The number homie. of fragments is affected by quantity, so having the mods does mean you get more uber pinnacles. But you can't remove them. It's just a matter of you do want to juice as much as possible. Obviously, not player quantity. It's just the standard like. 
map mod difficulty. No life. You're telling me, bro. I'm I probably. Know that, but you can do seven. I might play 32 hours this league start. Are twice the size of a regular map. Um, wow. they have wow. so twice as many monsters. Um, generally, uh, Ooh. they also have Ooh, uh, okay. more valuable signature. Um, the packs are all generally higher, like effectiveness and value, and so they will drop Ooh. more items. Uh, and okay, uh, okay, wow. I think the mods are all a bit more rewarding as well. I could be wrong about that, but I think that is the case in terms of just quant rarity pack size. Holy. Um, but, you know, there's the downside of the dip cards. I don't cards. care about the streamer uh, interview. Who is Trey Polar Bear? Because, uh, they're Guys, new please don't and all sub. The cards drop and all the During the interview, content, you you're interrupting them. Like you're farming them for your Blank, donation you. cards and stuff like that. Um, so you could argue they're less economically, you know, worthwhile in that regard. But um, they are better in almost every Guys, other regard. Nobody sub, but you please, can use the Scarabs, please stop right? the subbing. Could, could you use Scarabs on tier 17s? Uh, yeah, that should work. Yes. So you could do That's the crazy. favorite maps. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, that one, that one should work, but I'm, I'm assuming in a world where not everyone has access the to graveyard that. graveyard looks like a, a random fair. base and elks it. You're so awesome. wrong. That's so cool. So on hardcore, I'm running the sulfite nodes that give me damage and max rest in every tier 17. Yep. Bro, is, ads are on that auto. Is, um, I don't play I mean, that shit. That is probably kind of what everyone's talking about. I would say like sub up, bitch. There's interesting things with that where like you look at that and you're kind of like, ah, oh, yeah, it's not ideal because then it's that exact thing I'm talking about earlier where it's like you don't want people to feel like they have to do a thing. And like, you don't have to, but like, you know, why wouldn't you? Um, so yeah, you, you get a bit of that going on and it's like, but on the other hand, it's like, well, it does have a big release. opportunity cost. It, it is for sure. But it's also like, you know, you could, you could only see, the poor see ads. <laughs> Holy. I, um, you get a lot, obviously like a lot of the people in the office play the game and are like all talking, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And like. You can consider that to be like, oh man, they've like, already the meta's figured out, you know, um, which isn't necessarily true. There's going to be heaps of development, but it's so easy to just hear that and be like, ah, oh, we want to change that. Mm -hmm. And I'm certainly of the like, obviously not. Like you don't release the patch notes, let everyone figure out what they're <laughs> going to do and then just maliciously like, ah, oh, see ya. Like, I am not about that. Like if we, I know this is probably a little bit like, there's probably evidence of this in the past not being the case, but certainly like, if we post the patch notes and then we change something afterwards, it is with damn good reason before the release. Um, but yeah, what people do also need to understand there is, of course, the patch notes get posted. We're not finished development. Like, we, we are going till Friday. Um, that is how we do things. So things yeah. do change, but um, <laughs> don't worry. Your soft white node is safe yeah. for awesome. now. Um, for now. <laughs> that's oh, a 325 no. problem, if it is even a problem <laughs> at all. Cool. Um... How like how different? Actually, can we spectre Brutus? Well, uh, you should be able to spectre all of the tier seventeen. Well, pretty much all the what? tier seventeen monsters. What? So there's like, uh, what's it called? Like, there's a freaking. Uh, what's the uh, what's the incarcerator? Wait, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't know if Brutus is actually very good, but um, might be Dude. funny. You froze, uh, we'll as you were saying there, so we're not 100% sure what you said. Oh. Uh, I, yeah, I can't remember where it, well, depends where it cut, but either way, uh, yes, you can speak to pretty much every tier 17 monster. Okay. You can speak to Brutus. Uh, there's like a purifier in there. You can speak to the purifier. Um, uh, his oh, cool. cast of form kind of thing, and he's got some skills there. That's kind of crazy. There's others as well. We, we, there should be some fun in there for sure. And again, these are higher effectiveness monsters. Like... Technically, these are these specters are the new top in terms of at least life. Like they have the highest um hey what amount of life compared to every other monster. So if you're looking for just straight dead night dead, that's probably a uh, TD buffed uh, again. Oh no, probably you again. Right are now. you kidding oh, me? No. Uh, not by much. Not by much. Not by much. It's it's not much more. But it doesn't yeah. need much. So, it oh, didn't need anything. I know, anything. but it's not the intention. It's just that they're the <laughs> hardest monsters in the game, and so that's what happens. Yeah. I feel that. Um, I went, oh we'll my that lord, later. dude! But, um, yep, yep, yep. I understand the issue there. <laughs> yeah, cool. He um, just he yeah, wants Rue to be able to play Cocky like, D. Um, that's it. Obviously, some of the some of the bosses. One, one of them is like Kaluki. Katarina and like the similar to the synthesis or heist robot and stuff. Like how how like different are these? Are they basically completely whole new fights? Um, there's a lot of familiar mechanics um so katarina i'll i'll, I'll talk briefly about that because we kind of showed it but i won't give away too many mechanics but 
In the teaser, there were those three entities kneeling in front of Katarina. Those are the three abyss liches. That's me. That's literally me. Um, ah. And so she's in a room and there's those and she releases those over the fight and each one you kill makes the fight harder going forward and they come out in a random order. And so that one's pretty drastically changed, but like uh, I won't go into any more detail than that because... I want people to actually yeah. figure that stuff out and like share. I, I like, I love it when people are like figuring out how to defeat bosses and what's the best strategies and all that. Cool. I, I don't want to take that away from people. Um, um, well, yeah, that's, that's perfect. Next thing is something you specifically wanted to talk about, which I really liked. You're like, I want to talk about this, uh, the, the bingo. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I should bring that up as well. Cause I don't what? remember half of what yeah, is this? Just find it. I have it open on stream too, if that helps. I am just worried. Uh, well, it's all good. I'll just bring it up so it's bigger. Yeah, there's, there's a, a lot of things to go through here. Off. Holy. He's there's actually going so, through the whole um, thing. I brought this up at some point and I, um, <laughs> I, I did a first pass based on instinct and I actually opened, brought it in MS Paint and I'm like, I'm going to just like red scribble through some of these and, um, and, uh, you know, the ones I definitely PD am not doing. Abusers. And then, the and then I did up. a second pass. And then I was like, you know, what can we actually do? And there's, it's so easy to dismiss things that are like from a rich some philosophy from back when. When reality, you can just talk about it and be like, okay, but there's something, there is something we can do to solve the problem. So it's that whole give what they need, not what the necessarily. But I will tell you, by the way, this is the best form of feedback that I could possibly receive. What? 10,000 word essays, stop doing that. I don't read them. Like, what are you what? doing? Like, I'm not giving up my entire uh, evening what? to read this what? thing that has a whole bunch of passive aggressive, or not even passive aggressive, just aggressiveness True. in it. Yeah. Just give me your, this is like obviously what the community team is great for, um, because they do condense it down. But I'll just point out, if you want to actually like, you know, get me to look at a number of features, this is perfect. Like, hold, this is, there are 25, 24 problems on here that are just like to the point give me a solution or give me something. And I'm just like, sweet, let's, let's figure it out. Let's discuss it. Let's make sure, you know, we we either have good reason for not doing it or good reason for, uh, or actually, you know, just unfathomable base so, agree. 10,000 people in um, chat are now writing bingo sheets. I hope you're aware of this. <laughs> perfect. Like yeah, actually perfect. Good. It's just do understand. I will tactically p um, pick the one so that you can't actually complete the bingo. Um, <laughs> so, no, I, I won't do that, obviously. But um, so, okay, um, we did go through these. I'll go through, uh, I mean, obviously, bottom right one's done. Sweet, perfect. Um, and done before you posted it, so I beat you to it, except there was probably one of these in the past, so technically I didn't. Um, teleport shortcut. I, I was like, I, for a while, I was like, what the heck does that mean? But I'm assuming it means the portal scroll bind. Yeah, because that's portal what scroll I did. Bind. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, so things on here, like, um, bigger currency stack sizes did that too. Ah, uh, so, okay. So we almost got the bingo on the right hand side. Um, we're missing two. Um, so combat dummy, I'll just talk about that real quick. So, um, I don't, we've actually back and forth on this a bunch, but I don't like that. I like that people can be very creative with a build and I know we're in the world of POB. But I like that someone can like play a build by feel and again isn't doing this whole like because I can now quantify exactly what this build is doing and if it is below this value now it is clearly not worth playing. Like I don't want to squash creativity and I feel like the moment you have DPS meters and all of that stuff it does do that. And it has been evident in Path of Exile over time and I get it there is like well POB but then I would argue why is POB not sufficient enough. Um, at that point, because if the if you're the kind of person that cares about that, you're just going to use that, or you're going to follow someone's guide anyway. In which case, they're going to tell you. Um, so that one, I've and look, don't get me wrong, I've been on the fence. I, I almost yeah. added that um, at some point. I've gone back and forth. Um, we were going to do it, like we had mega amounts of arguments about it. But I do believe it makes people less likely to kind of just try things that are fun as opposed mm -hmm. to things that are optimized. And 100%. you could argue optimizing is fun, but that's not true for everyone. Um, well, so I do have a hmm? counterpoint there. Like the main reason I would want it and, and like, ideally you just don't want this. Right. But, um, 
there are a lot of bugs. So sometimes the the greatest thing with the target dummy is you can check if an interaction actually works. Like I remember, um, for example, I was playing minion instability summon raging spirits, and I put on like the they do more damage with low life, and I was like, this definitely doesn't work. Does it work? And people were like, no, it works. And then I messaged uh, uh, Bex at the time, and I was like, I, am I going crazy? Does this not work? And and it was bugged at the time. Which stuff like that is a lot more noticeable with an actual target dummy. So that is definitely an. Uh, yeah, our target dummy thing. right now is like, just um, you have to go to campaign. It's so fucking. Annoying. I would say that uh, having bugs is not a good excuse for having. A, that is the wrong. But that's motivation. unavoidable. Like that just us sucking, right? Like <laughs> we should just not have. I'm gonna that learn that dance. Out of the um, stream, and, that's and obviously, a lot of the reason why people want it is because the stuff isn't as observable in terms of like figuring out exactly what your DPS is, like just on, like the character stat sheet isn't giving enough information, especially when it comes to something like minions and all of that. And that is all stuff we need to just make better. I know PoE2 is taking mega strides right now yeah. to get that stuff accurate. Mega like the numbers strides. you see is what you get. Um, and we probably, once that is in a good place, I could see a world where we, uh, you know, do an update on PoE1 for that to make sure it's done okay. the same. Um, That's cute. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's easy to talk about a single point forever, so we yeah. can either move on or not. On. I mean, you, you get my stance on it. I, I agree. Players are going to quality control PoE for real? Uh, are you new here? Is this your first league? Uh, the going up the line the aura is no longer reset on death. Uh, Deal with we it. We can. We're definitely doing it in PoE 2, so I don't see a reason why we can't do that in PoE 1. Okay. Um, I would say that's on the like, probable list going forward. Um, uh, fragment stash in map device. Um, uh, I don't know if the fr I don't want the fragment stash there because then we're getting even into more. You have to buy it, but kind of what you want is a, as a an additional kind of inventory accessible there, which I do see being quite a strong. Uh, there's probably after this league I could see, uh, or during this league I could see that being something that we Ooh. start to really think about and develop because. Uh, TF was sick. Like a little yeah, I can see that being a problem. Only complaint was I wanted PP uh, Yeah, sooner. I mean, we can have like a little map device rucksack, not a character yeah. one. But. <laughs> um, uh, Yo, deal, bro. Sorting. Deal. Well, what the hell? A, sorting private stash tabs and inventory. Uh, that's certainly been a hot topic internally of late, and we've been uh, yes. back and forthing on that. I'd say you got flip of a coin as to whether or not that's going to make it in soon. So, okay. Um, Hold on. We'll see. Uh, I'm not personally heads, against heads, that one. Heads, 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 uh, heads. I, I am a little bit with inventory. <laughs> I don't want that feature to blow out. We get it, boys. Like, We're I getting it. territory where you've got real of options. And real. They have to do it now. Works. So, like, I, I would called be okay it. with, like, a basic. You saw. I called it, it on like, stream. It just, here's the sorting algorithm. You're given what you're given. And, like, you know, it sorts it in some way. But I wouldn't want it to be you can bring up some menu and get all into that. I don't like that thing. Yeah. I think that's, again, part of this adding complexity where it isn't really needed. Um, okay. and I know a lot of people are going to ask for that. So even if that feature does happen, we're not going to get into that. So just don't expect it. Um, cool. Let's see. Larger pickup radius. Well, I've given my opinion on that. I am kind of keen. Um, uh, it's just a matter of getting it right before we do it. So I would say you can expect, I would even not be surprised if 325 can get something there. Oh, um, Color coded affixes. Are you talking on items or are you talking under uh, monster affixes? So I've only know. brought this up as a point about maps, but I mean, I could see people wanting them on items too, like plus one gems and stuff like that. Both, I guess. Um, recently, someone did ask me about it and I was kind of like, look, try it out, but I don't want it to like look. It, it can certainly look real bad and look cheap. And you could argue, well, I don't care how it looks. I just care how it, if I get the information. I agree that is like ultimately the importance, but at the other hand, I'd like to try and find a way that doesn't compromise it to make it just look like a, a kind of, uh, what do we call it? Like a, a clown something, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> your classic just like, well, here's a rainbow of stuff on the item and you're like, oh, what the? Um, it can just make items feel real and elegant and it, it's, that's yeah. the only real hesitancy from me, but what I understand why people want it. Um, possibly. What was this? It is an option. Uh, it might result in the same thing of, again, now you look at an item. That I worry, Look, you look at an item and the item now looks more complex than it really is. Right. And our items aren't exactly simple. So I worry that's 
but then then you're like, well, put it behind an option. But then you're like, well, the people who need to know it more are probably the people who would have that off by default, the people yeah. it's most useful for. And then you get into a bit of like, is this actually, you know, solving the problem? And then how much of a problem is it really? But, you know, I consider that low hanging fruit compared to a lot of these, to be honest. That's right. Um, itemized Ashling Slam. Well, we've done that, but we also took one away, um, which I know has been a point. Yeah. Of, uh, oh, uh, thank you, Ziz. Thank you. I, I did yes. want to talk about thank that you. too. And thank you. You did mention it during the Ziggy podcast or like the, the Q&A at the end. But obviously there's, I, I've seen so much talk about it and I think I'll get lynched for not asking, but so many people were wondering if we could have both. Um, I would, well, yeah, my personal thing is still I would like to remove crafting bloat where possible where it is not like kind of super mainstream, um, as in like it's coming from a league or beyond belongs to a league. Um, mm. But I also don't want to just infinitely add crafting things to the game and never be able to take stuff away because yeah. it is, I'd say, one of the most fearful things about PoE and, and players coming into the game is the complexity. And I think that ultimately, like, yes, you could argue the passive tree and whatnot, but I think the item crafting is probably one of the more daunting things um, because yeah. it is, it's, there are so many different things and you don't know what to really do. And it can be very, the very build, scary. Build I mean, I know this is like really a low, easy. you could, it makes uh, it much easier, item, you, know? you know, we're not talking about a system here. Um, but on the other hand, like any space or design space I can clear to do something else and do it differently and better. I will, I do want to take those opportunities and design space is valuable. Like it is very, very important for us to clear design space. And like an interesting one, like a, thinking of just sextants, removing sextants now frees up more design space for us to use things on the Atlas itself. And again, that adds complexity. Yeah. Um, of course it does. Um, but, but we still have to add content and a game at this point, like, you, I mean, you can't just stop adding content. And so, yeah, taking these opportunities to remove things so that we can reevaluate that design space and add something new is a huge victory for us, even though I can see that from a player's perspective, it's like you're taking away because mm -hmm. the delayed reaction of the when the thing then gets added in its place doesn't happen at the exact same time. Mm. Um, so it happens later. So I, yeah, I mean, my main point is I want people to understand the value of creating a, a gap and creating a gap, letting people then adapt to the, the gap not being there to then add something back that's even better is very valuable when it comes to like game design and game development. Uh, unless you just want to actually bloat the features of your game to the point of absolute ridiculousness, which you could argue POE is getting there. And so like we're certainly in an era where adding stuff uh, is can be quite dangerous because when you go look at like people's new, you want new players. You can't just not bring in new players. That's the death of a game, right? You, you obviously want your existing ones, but you also need new people because eventually people are going to taper off. And so mm -hmm. when the number one problem with Path of Exile is complexity, 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 when it comes to new players starting the game, um, it is, should be that it is very important to us, the players, to everyone, that we are taking opportunities to, de, uh, to you know, remove complexity from the game um, so we can add stuff in its place instead of just infinitely increasing the I don't think Veiled Chaos was very... I like, know that's like hard to connect those like two a dots between what the thing, heck is just a Veiled Orb to, um, you know... To like that, but again, the small the small wins matter as well. No, she's not. Shut so I can't up. convince you to trade you an engineering orb for a veiled chaos or bank. True. Ah, uh, well. True. That, <laughs> we already have a plan for engineers orb. Okay. So. Oh. <laughs> um, we we were actually going to do it in this patch, but it kind of got cut. Uh, That's fair. Because we ran out of time. But uh, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Right. Uh, I, I know we've been going for ages, and I'll just point out that uh, it might just be at the end of this bingo. We can probably just conclude there, um, just because otherwise we're going to go forever. Um, yeah. I don't know if that's all right on your end. But yeah, I was going to say, I wasn't mind. planning on going over two hours. I don't know how you feel about a quick break, because I wasn't um, planning to go this long. Uh, we could, or it uh, depends if you want to hold out Maybe for the rest of the bingo, anyways. and then we can just call it there. Um, Th there's I just probably an the amount of work piling up for me and <laughs> okay right um, do you really if you want to break i'm easy easy to do it as well it just depends how much more longer you're willing to go because there's a lot of things we wanted to talk about um, god damn 
well, we're probably just not going to get through it all, I'd say. So I reckon we'll yeah, just finish no, the we bingo and move on just because otherwise okay, there's going to be a bunch of changes to the game. Let's do that. We get, don't do break so, then. Um, we know break. We just keep playing. Yep. Let's do it. Tank it. Yep. Um, okay. Well, what do you, why are you linking? That's, you you're gone. That one, you're gone. With the you know, rucksack, Jonathan and Chris and stuff and our internal battles. Um, I just, I like inventory pressure. Uh, you could argue. Yeah, I hope it was worth it, man. Most right. people are not going to argue this, but you could argue there's too it. many items that's the end of the stream. That's the main problem. And more so, there's too many items that you feel like you need to pick up. Like, Truth equals banned. I'll see you in five. Like, why are we not reducing the amount of items and making them higher quality? And I still want to achieve that, by the way. Oh, okay. Um, like, I definitely want to do it. It is just another one of those things we were talk I was talking about earlier, where if you remove all the sec uh, scarabs or you mess up all the scarabs, the game's dead, right? Because the end game's now dead, right? If you mess that up badly, um, if you if you mess up the item system, it's it's also just GG. Try right? polar like, bear. It is not the kind of thing you. you can get wrong. Yeah. So I definitely uh, still want to do the you. whole like, you shouldn't need to by day two be, and I know I'm talking about in-game people, but I, you shouldn't by day two have to be filtering out 99% of item drops and wow. yeah. all of that. It's just... It's ridiculous. Like, I want it to be that a filter is... Obviously, you still always will filter items. I want it to be that a filter's purpose is to format items, but not to necessarily... And I'm not saying I'm going to change it. We're not... I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to make it that you can't hide items and all that. That's I like this thing. thing. I, I, I think I, 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 I don't think want it to take. be that um, you're just filtering so, so, so much. But I love the formatting. I like being able to change to make certain things look more important than others and change the sizes and all of that. that this is a good take. Absolutely great. I like this. Um, but I don't think you should have to need to do this. Um, and you probably so, yeah, I kind of so just want clutter. to have less items that are more impactful and thus reduce the kind of need for the whole inventory space to always feel larger. But on the other hand, I do believe that is an interesting pressure to have, such that you can't just take everything you want always. I do think that you need that. I know uh, it's similar to like sockets, where people perceive yeah. socket pressure as bad, and socket pressure is more that it's imbalanced between certain builds, but socket pressure is good. Like, you shouldn't just be able to have every single skill in the entire game equipped all at once. Um, yeah. Not that that's necessarily beneficial. Pressures and limits are good. Um, it means you have to make different decisions and you have constraints and you have to actually think about it. And that these are good things that make the game a game you play as opposed to just a thing that's like background processing. Like a lot of people after driving for so long end up don't even remember. You don't remember the drive because it just becomes this kind of, I don't know if this is a good comparison, by the way, but it's just something that came to mind. You don't remember. I don't remember what the hell happened when I drove in this morning. Because nothing oh. eventful happened, right? And you want right. these events to be happening that are actually triggering emotional responses and are causing Ooh. you to make decisions, not subconsciously, Even if it's but bad. actually consciously. Otherwise, again, you're not playing a game. You're just like See, going good through for the some background yes. processing on some things. I want yeah. you should engage. You should play. You should do actions and do things that are meaningful and not just like, you know, I don't. I, I know there's the argument of like I don't. People have the whole. Uh, you know, the TV on the other screen or the, some show on the other screen while they're playing. And like, there are people who love that and want that. That's crazy. And I think that is something you earn with good character builds and power. But it can't just be like that all the time. Like, mm -hmm. you shouldn't ever just be able to not, like, you shouldn't just be able to just completely streamline the game to the point where you don't even need to look at the screen anymore, really. Um, and like, I, I understand with like item filters, you can kind of just play with like a peripheral vision on a mini map and using mini map icons to play. And then your uh, item filter will tell you when a big item drops due to the sound. And mm -hmm. um, I'm generally against things that mean that you're not actually looking at the game world, looking at your character, deciding what's going on around you. And do, I do know, I know that is very, very hard to achieve with the level of ruckus that goes on towards the high end ruckus. game but at least you've earned that you've earned that you've chosen to do that and you're putting more effort into running maps and configuring maps and itemization and gear before you're doing that and uh it's easy to ask for that to be the default all the time and i think that would actually just destroy the game i don't yeah. think there would be uh like that is not i don't consider that to be fun if that is the norm always earning it perfectly good so Anyway, a uh, bit of a rant there. And there's going to be ads cool, soon. So they're, they're pretty enjoyable to listen to. I like it. Um, and I, I agree. Like choices are important. 
Um, what's the next one? Uh, death recap. So, oh, yeah. uh, Jonathan's talked about this in PW2 a little bit, and we definitely want to do it. Um, I've been trying to figure out how to do it lately, and I think the easiest we can do, and I'm curious if this is enough, because I know everyone's going to want, like, exactly what skill and exactly this and this what most people oh. actually might want to frame by frame replay with like, logging no, and all just, that and like just like damage there type. is an easier solution which is that we probably can do something like either time or the last time you were on full life and by that i mean uh unres uh ignoring reservation life mana like energy shield like you're full on resources um what damage you took from what monster and at the point of death what debuffs you had on you but i can't we can't have like here's how much the debuff was doing and we can't be like the skill did this much damage and all that like giving names oh, okay. and identities to the skills no, we is don't. hard but giving just saying what monster contributed what damage is something that's a lot more easier yeah uh, that's pretty a lot good. easier i, I that't even know um, like and Devour then I guess on the death screen you'd have something you can pop open. It would have effectively a grid uh, by monsters and by like damage types probably, what? and then a list of like you were affected by this debuffs when you die. That's died. literally all we need. Um, That's I would perfect. say that is like within reason. Um, but then yeah, you you obviously get the whole like uh, even then that has complexities because we have the concept of a daemon, which is effectively oh an environment an hazard ad. or like a um. A lot of the arch nemesis mods and well now just rare monster mods but you know the whole lightning storm and all that that's technically not the didn't talk about container chicken menu no you can take the burrito a crispy taco what is this i don't know who is this what are you waiting for what are you waiting for mm, eat my taco no jesus all right All right, I'll cover the ad, but we can't fucking listen to anything until the ads are done. You'd have to interpret, okay, the dot killed Wait, me. we can? That did most of the damage and stuff like that. And there are, there are ways, but yeah. Anyway, so I'm all awesome. for it. It's just been complex. And I don't think that getting it Oh my it God, Opera Browser is insane. To not get it 90% of the way there right Opera now. Opera Browser is crazy. Right. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people at this point will take anything. We're very excited for that. Um, the next one is larger inventory space. You uh, just no, pop out the stream. Oh, this is crazy. Some weird pubbing. Okay. Um, persist master mission selection. Uh, yeah. Well, not a problem anymore. Yeah. It's gone. Gone. Um, mini map mechanic icons. Uh, I have two states of minds about this one, but mostly, I mean, like I added, we got it added for strong boxes. Someone suggested it in house. Yeah. I was like, yeah, of course, let's add it. Um, but again, it goes back to that. Like, I don't want the game to be. I look at a mini map and I play off the mini map. Obviously, that's very what? important right now. That's literally uh, but all I, I do. Would rather, um, that's all I do. So, POE2 does a thing that I think is very, very good, which is that minimap icons do not appear until they are within your um, uh, fog of war radius. And so, you, right now, there's this thing where area transitions have like a radius of 250 units, which is just freaking megalithic, right? 25 meters or yeah. whatever. And they just appear, and you're like, oh, now I know where I'm navigating. Whereas in Peary 2, you have your fog of war, which is effectively your screen, and you actually have to see the object before it appears on the minimap. And I think this is very, very, very good. I think that the way it has changed how you play is hugely win. So I'm, hey, I just I'm got a sub. I'm having more stuff on the minimap. Hey, James, just give me a sub in Ziz's chat. I will explain. I don't like monsters on the minimap. Okay. Because I don't want you to just position the monster on the edge of your screen and then just shoot off screen and hit it. And so hmm. you knowing it's exact, you can right. kind of do that already, I understand, but I don't. Um, in some contexts, it's fine, but in most cases, I am actually. Let's refresh. I should be good now. Monsters are all me. I just don't think that it. Again, I want you to look at your screen and I see the monster and know it's there. And if the mo if the concern is the monsters off screening you, well, that's just that's just us sucking. So let's just not make that a case. And if there are bosses that are off screening you all the time then um, we should fix it. Now, one thing that will solve this, which is another one on here, it's the next one, well, not really, it's skipping, uh, is the boss health bar. I want to do static life bars very, right. very badly. I think it is the one of the best features in PoE 2. It's very nice. Um, I want to do it. And here's the thing, you will mm -hmm. know when a boss is nearby because the boss, the static life bar in theory, should appear. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want that to be a very good signaling and to right. not have to use the mini map for it. Now, to now, be fair, that was one of my favorite features of Metamorph was actually seeing the monster packs. Like, that was really enjoyable. Well, I can see why it is considered useful, but I, I, I mean, I share this. I see people arguing about this a little bit, but again, it's that whole. I want you to look at the monsters. I want you to look well, at the things. And you could argue you, you can't, but I want you to actually like... It, it wasn't anything about off-screen or anything for me. For me, it was like the packs that burrow and stuff. Like, I mm -hmm. always found that really yep. annoying. Like the, like the sand skitters and, and stuff like that. Like that yeah. was so nice in Metamorph. Well, okay. And in, in the context of Metamorph, because you are really promoting, you want to collect all the organs. That's a very different story. But like a random... I don't even know what, but like, let's say your random packs that are replaced by map bosses. Like, I don't think those need to have mini map icons, right? Like, why would they? You mm -hmm. just come across it or you don't. Um, it's not needed to complete an objective, so to speak. Right. Um, whereas like on Metamorph, it's kind of like, if you miss one of those, you could spend the next 10 minutes searching for monsters and be like, my God, this is so frustrating. Um, because you don't want to then do your Metamorph encounter yeah. until you've found them all. I so see that. I would say they're, they're different contexts for sure, but... um. There might be some contexts that deserve it that I am not thinking about. Like, I don't want to just be like, no, never in any. He will know us by our ways. And there possibly are. But again, uh, at yeah. least for Back bosses and uh, stuff appearing, I want that to be static life bar driven. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that. But that's, again, a thing where the fear has been that um, unless we do all of them, it's not worth doing any of them. Oh, okay. But I think I just need to get away from that and start doing it in categories. So, for example, we could do... Anything that's in a fixed arena is easier, but like he did. the trouble I have. Okay, you go city square map, you got twinned map bosses, you've got um Maven where she spawns two extra bosses. I mean, how am I displaying eight life bars? Right. And so the question is that is it the three closest? And then at what point is it useful? Yeah, the like, same are, for the fear you know, that you get the that. UI's gonna, the UI is gonna turn into a disaster. Um and uh, we might have to figure that out anyway because like, I don't want to have it that you can't have a decent amount of bosses in PoE 2. But, you know, you could argue it's the three closest or the X closest or the three that have, you've last damaged, but then with AoE, you're going to get flickering like crazy or, like just swapping between them and it won't really be relevant. It could be the three that have damaged you or it could be that when one damages you, it, it overrides one that hasn't damaged you. But I think the simplest is I just try the three closest or the X however many closest and then we see where that goes because it's still better than nothing yeah, i would soon. say especially um, for like just even if all we got it for was like the pinnacle bosses like the i think i'll do cf that would make a big difference already like cyrus etc yeah. for sure it's just that once we have the static boss bars it allows us to do a lot more stuff with uh, like the debuff icons underneath them and all of that stuff and that is so useful information yeah not all debuffs but you know the important ones that matter which you can see poe2 getting a lot of yeah and um I think that is, and so that's where it's like, I kind of want them everywhere. But yeah, I was going to start with like Ubers, Pinnacles, and then work down to like Act Bosses, and then, you know, go from there and start getting the more fundamental ones. But it's actually kind of easy to do the campaign because you don't have so many bosses all at once. Yeah. Um, it's when you then, should a Breach Boss have it? Should a Legion General have it? Yeah. Should a, like, I don't, I don't really know these answers. And then it's like, well, all of a sudden you can, it should... I'm, I'm doing so guys. I'm doing DD Cog. Well, I swear I won't do CF. Definitely less of priority on those. Yeah. Yeah. So I swear yeah, I won't we click it on the start. Okay. Um, I'm kind of sl I'm slating that at least a part way doing it for for 3:25. So uh, yeah. guys, I've um, memorized the yeah, link. That'll be nice, and then you'll know when a boss is nearby. And I've memorized the link. Um, which will help, and then alleviate the need for mini map icons on them as well, because there'll be something else on your screen telling you they're there. Uh, don't salute that guy. And awesome. of course the music will hopefully change in most cases at the same point. Yeah. Um, okay. What's next? Well, more tab affinities. Uh, kinda, I think I'm just at a no with that one. So I don't, the hard <laughs> no? is here, we, we do not want everything to have an affinity. Mm -hmm. uh, and the only things left really are equipment, you kind fucker. of jewels. Yeah. Uh, we've kind of run out of... Um, That's where we're at, dude. Uh, like room to add more there. We, we do not want to do that. Every single thing is just automated. Um, that's the same thing on the... Uh, I don't know if this is in here, but it, it's in the same kind of category as... Oh, yeah, there. One-click transfer inventory to stash. Yeah. Um, you've, there have been many, many an arguments of item weight, and it is a very nebulous concept, and whether or not it matters and all that. But there are certain lines that we certainly do not want to cross, even at this point, where I am okay. kind of okay with the stat, uh, sorting your stash. 
um, because I don't think that actually demeans weight in a way that is substantial. And everyone is subjective. Everyone has their opinion on how much an item should weigh and what that is. And a lot of people think that they should be weightless. And But again, we want it to be that you are engaging with these things. You're looking at these things. You are making conscious decisions about these things. And I understood you putting them into a... Um, putting the control clicking them into a, a, a quad tab you still later have to sort them out so you can delay when you're dealing with the weight currently but at least the mm -hmm. weight isn't necessarily removed um but mass manipulation of items all at once uh, on non-fungible so non-stackables non-currency yeah non-fungible uh, is just a line that we're not currently willing to, willing to cross because we make it we feel like it makes oh, it too much God, ladies and gentlemen we got a day. god yeah. gamer um, thank you anonymous you uh, and then yeah the, but we're pretty much at the point no. where the only affinities are no that NFTs. Are there are, Yo, thank you. Our equipment, gifted. I'm pretty sure, right? Like, maybe missing. There may be some uh, very select tattoos, things, incubators. But... Mm -hmm. uh, incubators. Yeah, yeah, incubator. Oh yeah, because there's a thing there for asking for an incubator stash tab. Uh, mm -hmm. I would rather, by the way, just have it that there are more, uh, less incubators that are more powerful because, like, yes, there is a that would be sick. A lot of add-ons. Like, there There's is a so lot many. right now that drop. It kind of gets a little bit out of control. Yeah. yeah. Um, you just filter them so right ideally, away. So ideally, lessening the need for so many of them uh, <laughs> would be a better thing there and making them better. Awesome. Um, but anyway, that's my perspective on that one. Mm -hmm. um, what's the persist rare mob? Well, I'm assuming the persist rare mob is you effectively want some sort of static life bar for rare monsters. Yeah. I mean, we're already talking about having issues with space for that. Um, yeah. yeah. Like you can get rares and bosses in the same space. It comes down to the same issue, honestly. And then like you can get ten rares at once. And I, I, I is it the last one you damage? But when you're AOEing and chaining and shit's going everywhere, like That's hard. you're not really controlling which one. So it's the same real problem. Uh, reroll Uber fragments. Well, I guess we solved the one yep. that was contextual to this, and we have introduced a new need for someone to add this to the next bingo through the Uber Pinnacle ones. <laughs> um, because of the way we chose to do the target farming instead of having the reroll. Yeah, so that you true. can bias towards farming certain ones instead of needing to reroll. Uh, it might be that something like that is needed later, but again, I don't want it to be that in order to do all the boss content, you have to engage with Harvest. I think that if we wanted to do that, I'll do it through some core system yep. uh, or a recipe as opposed to that. Uh, we talked about the one above and the one above. Yeah. So passive tree planner. Um, yeah, because it looked like uh, we were going to get that at one point. Yeah, okay. What I want to be able to do is the basic functionality of import someone's tree, if you choose, or just forward plan your own, and that's it. I don't want to try and do what POB is doing, because that is just going to do it better, and it's also going to just bake that screen, add a feature that is the most beyond complicated thing you've ever, ever seen ever. But you should certainly be able to just be like, I'm going to import someone's tree and it's going to like show the layout of that and like the you know some point allegation and then you can also just plan the next x points on yep. yours and like that's it really i think doing that is a good step in the right direction and then that's probably as far as we need to go with that one yeah um so like those passes, so yeah, yeah. Well, that's certainly currently on the planned list and it might be 325 it really again we're going to have to pick our um pick our battles for this one so it's yeah. on my list of like i'm going to pick the here's all the things we're going to pick from it might be there it might not be there awesome uh colored stash tabs and icons as in you want to not i guess that's like a not wanting to pay for the yeah, colored what? stash tabs so you oh, want them on the default insane. ones what the fuck i'm assuming uh <laughs> i don't really know um icons is an interesting yeah, idea of course be because cute. you want to be like this is where my blah goes and my blah goes um there's probably a room to do where my blah and my that. blah the, goes um, is he is he dating come with it no 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 uh, they want colored folders and icons on the folders oh oh uh i'll look into that i'll see i don't actually i'm not entirely familiar with what state that's in to be honest yeah because right uh, now it's just brown yeah i'll just look into oh yeah i'll look into that well that's not appealing i would yeah that's uh Awesome. <laughs> that's, the, that's the least fun default color to have for those because the, you want to you wanna get that like vibrant, the stash is valuable. Yeah, <laughs> this exactly. folder is valuable. Um, awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, 
the, okay, incubator stash tab. We kind of talked about like it's a problem with too many incubators right now. I'd say like it just shouldn't be necessary. He probably is getting real tired. That, like, he woke like, up early I would today hate too. To have to sell that, like you shouldn't have to pay for that. Um, yes, it's not essential for a league. So by all rules, if we were to have one, you'd have to pay for it, and so it should just be we solve that problem the proper way. Okay. Uh, we You're will do the one click to pop harvest node. Uh, there's just some small gameplay things I need to work around, but we may as well do that. That one's a pretty. Oh, pretty gut. trivial at the end of the day. I mean, you're just saving that extra slightly delayed click. Um, but nice. That the, so having the clicks matters. So that does. Uh, v to corrupt essence. Well, V to corrupt essence. Uh, I'm not okay with the V, but I am okay with the button. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I don't like how many things conflict with V, and it gets a little bit scary when yeah. you've got too many of them, and it's unclear now what V will do in some sort of situations. And I don't just like adding no, keybinds for Think hyper specific it, content. Yeah, but I do want the button. Um, Who gives a shit if you attack? So yeah, we're gonna put times. like a little remnant of corruption symbol next to the essences, and if you have one in your inventory, it appears, and you can just click it. Um, replacing GMT, so at least no, saves the open inventory. No, I laptop, am, um, no. I am trying to get away from. I know technically you can clear around an essence, take a moment, open your inventory, do it, which means it's technically not the same problem. But I'm trying to get away from as many. Uh, I have to open my inventory during maybe you combats could, as possible. Do like awesome. minus mana, remove um, the life tap, and do it. Then but, again, strong boxes uh, are fundamentally kind of that is what just they gets your kind CF stacks up faster. Uh, which isn't that really and big yeah, of a deal? Like, I think that's a bit different argue, though. We don't see that many people complain yeah. about strong boxes either. Yeah, and a lot of the option, a lot of the main thing there is because you can kind of get them to just be rare by default and stuff like that, and so you don't yeah. have to feel like you alk them. The corrupt also essence would be them nice. Not even necessarily yielding you an extra elk in terms of rewards. It is worth noting that there are um, scarab modifiers on strong boxes now, so like you'll get scarabs through that means as opposed to strictly on the operatives box. Yeah, I think we actually removed the operatives box and moved all the mods to everything else. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I don't feel too. I don't feel like that one's necessary personally either, but the essence thing is certainly more annoying for sure. The remnant. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that's the whole set of those. So yeah, there's yeah. a there's a good handful of them that should be looking like a 325 feature, um, maybe even more. And these are things again. I just want to remind, like we wouldn't have budged on this a year ago, even six months ago necessarily. And you know, we are certainly. Uh, taking a slightly different stance and especially POE2 is really is the thing causing us to, to do all of that, um, to really re reevaluate our, um, our core beliefs and make to sure that we're not just holding on to Melee the dinosaurs, DD? as we like to yeah. say. Um, well, I have a few yeah. quick fire things I can ask you about as well. Why time? People are very do curious the, about. Do an IRL. Um, War Christ, can we use two of them like automating? Uh, no. I believe all the what? descriptions have been updated to be more clear as well, but, um... What? It's so no, ass! They, it's the same as Call to Arms, so they it's all so share a ass. cooldown if you put... You can only oh put my one god, with it's arms, dead! Um, if it, it's so it off. over! It's, the first, probably it's the first so one jober! Sockets, it's is my so guess, over! But, um, putting two is pointless. Right. Okay. Um, melee and, like, for example, feeling forced to use, like, the ancestral totems, uh, also problems with... Jesus structure. Christ! Um, agreed. Uh, very hard to solve. Uh, I've, I've been trying to think about this for a long time. I'm going to raise the, uh, it's on my 325. It's a tier one feature on my 325 oh, list okay. of things I want to get sorted. Um, that doesn't mean it's happening, but like, it certainly means I'm taking it seriously. Um, and I don't just mean the totems Like you could argue nerf the totems, buff everything else. Um, there are more problems than that. And it's a very hard one to get right. Everyone has so many different opinions of what's wrong with it. Um, and like, it's what's wrong with it is you have to press it. There is some it's annoying, stuff we can bro. Do and we should take small That's strides it. instead of the right ones. But it's what's annoying the, uh, instead of the the big strides. Is that bow cuts uh, get mana right. forged arrows? Like, we and their whole build is right click <laughs> to fix melee. You know, and what we I mean? have to put like, banners down, put down two totems, so pop to my actually, focus button, mean, press. Though, because <laughs> if you want it to feel like moment to moment visceral melee, press my war cry. You can't have that in a game that is this fast. So it's not True. possible because it's too fast. You, you, your strikes can't matter. Your, your, like the feel of your hits aren't going to matter. Um, well, it's just not. Grand Slam Impaler was honestly it did feel really good, even in a fast that's game. True. To be that's fair, true. right? But the, uh, okay, so that's and that's where you come down to like, yeah, yeah, we add builds that promote playing slower. Yeah, but again, that's it depends. It depends what you're after and what you mean because a lot of people just mean like. 
yeah, the problem with melee is the totems, and some people's people problem like with melee is just that. I don't know. It could, it could just help be a, a numerical lot. balance problem simply, and other yeah. people's is just the feel and clunkiness, and there's so many. So I want to make sure I definitely understand the problems that are the most problematic, and then go from there and see how we can. I can but respect I it. do think it needs something pretty grand to really shake that up in a way that makes it not just. I don't want to band-aid the problem and I don't want to just push yeah. it down the line by three months again and again and again. I want to find something that is yeah. um I kind of uh, respect it. I get much it. better overall. And yeah. I don't know what that is yet, but I, I acknowledge it. the problem for sure. A lot of people here do. Um and I obviously just to clarify the solution to it is not to slow down the game. It's to create reasons you might it, it, one way could be to create more motivations as to why you might want to play with less attack speed and stuff yeah. to make it feel more visceral, but Slams like, back. that's still at the end of the day your choice, and we're not taking away from that. It's just an option. Um, Confirmed. Awesome. Um, another thing, I've seen so many people asking about it as well in chat. Um, corpse skills have been very strong for very oh long. Oh my god. Why are you bringing that up? They're just going to get nerfed. I mean, the simple thing Next is, league. yes, they probably need a change. The Surely. reason why that um, goes... The reason why some of these things don't shift in the meta as much as other things is because... Um, Not just ED. Like, ultimately, it comes down to the same problem of here's all the changes we feel like we need to make, and here's the ones we actually have the time to make. Um, it's mo mostly resourcing, I would say, that is the main issue. There are not many people who are very good at actually assessing what to change and how to change it. Yeah. So you can't give it to anyone. Um, and there, it, sometimes it's like, okay, can I just fix this with numbers or does this need something a bit more grand, like a redesign, or does this need a system change? Um, you need someone who's good at making that decision and people who can make those decisions well in a way that, again, isn't just band-aiding things or playing this kind of cat and mouse game of it's slightly nerfed and then something else gets slightly nerfed and buffed. And like doing that is fine, but doing that, ideally you design a system around that that doesn't achieve that, have require that to be necessary. Wow. Um, but yes, sometimes it is still the right answer to Band-Aid until we do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would just say that it is probably just a matter of it's been missed on time. Um, it is just a resource thing. I'd say it honestly is one of those things where, again, it doesn't it hasn't really actively crossed my mind too many times. It's just a like, resourcing issue. A, That's a little tomfoolery. I always, I'm looking at bigger problems, grander scale, so, but... Look, if it's an issue, it's put a, if we get it on the list early, yeah. we can get, a, get ahead of things, so sure. Cool. Uh, and then, I guess, as a final thing, which we, we would now kind of cover even half of uh, everything we, we planned out, but um, uh, you wanted oh to mention a few teasers for things that this could be possible be like for the next Ooh. gauntlet. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, uh, well, you and I had a brief discussion, Ooh. but again, like the main mm. issue we've had, uh, honestly, is that the sooner I know, the more I can do. Because I can work that around. I can do, if I like the ideas enough, I'll do it in my free time. Like I'll just go home and do it, right? I, instead of playing one night, I will just do stuff there one night because it's fun. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we discussed doing uh, um, this guy having it so that for the gauntlet, we do is we literally customize just chatting. Like the designs, what the skills of the bosses do. And so he can't a, stop like chatting. A different version of the Exarch, maybe his. Um, Oh no! For, uh, like bullet hell works differently. You're adding different skills and stuff like that. Like we may as well. Like it's pretty easy to do. So doing a whole new animation on the creature is expensive. That's, that's new true. animation. That that's a new, that's probably new effects, new uh, rigging. Uh, not rigging. Uh, audio. Yeah. Heaps of stuff like that. But reusing existing effects, reusing existing animation. So like changing the shape, the the, the pattern of a bullet hell, trivial. Um. Spawning minions, trivial. Changing how minions are spawned, trivial. Uh, things like, for example, the Searing Exarch's like barrage of mortars. You could certainly have a thing where they impact the ground, then they sit there, or they maybe turn into proximity mines, or they turn into volatiles, or they, after a delay, will do the mortar again and delay again. And so, like, you could what? even have it that they have a 20% chance that every single time they hit the ground, then for the rest of the fight, they will, every X seconds like bounce again targeting you every time and so like as you get more and more of that skill use that you get effectively a soft and rage uh kind of thing which is that <laughs> boss fuck? doing you know that like that's just a random example of just you know off the top of my head kind of thing um Very cool. that's not trivial to do um but 
then we're talking about developing for the gauntlet instead of developing for the whole yeah. game. Mm-hmm. And obviously that can be controversial. And that's why I'm talking about getting in early and spending bonus time to kind of do that. Um, because Very cool. it's still cool. It's still fun. People love that. People watch it. People and like, yeah, I mean, we can do it. And there's the other thing is like, we might be able to then find a way to integrate that stuff into core game somehow like some sort of alternate way of doing the fight um something that you have mentioned in the past is like having modifiers that specifically manipulate how boss skills work you know things like that can can be um things that we could do with that and yeah. we could make it a feature that everyone can now you know get their hands on so uh i did yeah. see somebody was asking as well do you play the gauntlet ever uh generally not because it's generally running at the point in time where i'm at like peak level busy yeah uh, even, and if I got to do, I don't like to half ass things like that. So if I yeah. did, if I don't get to do it, like to, at the start of a league, um, obviously the, the, a lot of my time is towards designing the next league, um, figuring out exactly what we're doing, figuring out exactly all of this stuff, like discussion upon discussion, but I generally go back to 40 hours a week and I generally get to play. Um, but I, to my own fault, I, um, I certainly, to, as like after the first month of that, um, sometimes more, I am. I double, double, triple my work hours pretty comfortably and right. I just get fully into it. And Jeez. that is at the point where I'm now like, I can't play games. I don't really get a lot to do. And yeah. um, Elden my Ring choice, DLC. I like to do it. So Ask him about I Elden Ring not, DLC. But I also, I'm not going to compromise the game where like, I, I want the game to be as best as it can be all the time. And so I am, of course, going to be, I like, you know, getting into it around that point. Plus, also preparing the live stream is like, that takes like a full month. It's a lot of work preparing that. I bet. Um, like preparing all these teasers. And um, lately I've started running around the office instead of walking. So I'm saving a little oh, bit wow. of time. Um, but wow. people, it stresses people out a little bit because they think something's going on. So <laughs> yeah. I'm weighing up whether or not that's actually worth it. But um, <laughs> I figure I was like, oh, I need to get here. I'll just, I'll just jog there instead. And people are like, oh, something's <laughs> happening. What's going on? Uh, so yeah, I, I um, <laughs> Bro, get a, <laughs> a, a, a scooter now. <laughs> oh, that's good. Elden Ring is trash. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. There was, was a dancing how long one from once upon a time. A that's only three months. There. So a running one's not not too bad. That's funny. Awesome. We will let you go there. Thank you so much. This is way more time than I thought we would take as well. Thank you so much for doing this. We uh we super appreciate it. I hope everybody in chat liked it. And yeah, Wait, he's so he's gift leader. He's a gift leader. Never. Never mind, never mind, no, 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 no. He's number Cheers, three gifter right now. Uh, people got a bit of insight into how stuff works and how I think. Um, I want people to know how I think. Um, I think that's important. And I want, hopefully people see, even if they don't agree with me and what we're doing here, that at least see that I definitely give a shit. I yeah. give a shit more than probably everyone. I have... Um, holy, not to, holy. Put, you know, I'm nearing like many 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 tens of thousands of hours into this game playing and working i might even be over a hundred thousand hours at this point i don't want people to think that uh <laughs> that we don't give a shit or anything and i um i hope that going forward uh people are seeing a lot more of what they deserve to see as opposed to just like you know here's a league and here's a random other side feature and it's a lot more responsive um but yeah that's my hope uh, that's king, my goal bro. Um, I'll try my best. So, but yeah, and hopefully 324 is awesome. If it's not, tell me, and I'm sorry, but I. It's probably As it awesome. is written, I'm for it 100. percent He will um, know our yeah, ways. Yeah, just make sure uh, get some bingo boards of things you want to see fixed in it. If you're not, because that's what I like to see. It gives he will me play clear, our concise, hours. Here's what I know is a problem, and I'll fix it. So, if you have any issues, give me some bingo boards and. Uh, We'll go through them and see what we can do. It can be a three by three bingo as well. There's not. Hopefully, there isn't always just twenty five <laughs> problems with the league. But uh, um, you know, you can make it a two by two bingo if you want as well. It's fine. Awesome. Well, again, thank you so much. I hope everybody enjoyed watching in Twitch chat and later on YouTube. And uh, yeah, thank you. Awesome. Thanks everyone. And yeah, cheers. Us. Have a good one. Awesome. Bye. Thanks so much. That was that was great. Cheers. See ya. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh my god, I got the Kirby Nader to respond to me. That's insane. Wow. That was a sick um, interview. It was really funny because this is very different from me than the podcast I'm used to because um, Mark himself 
added like loads of topics so we didn't actually get through like like a lot as well so he was like oh i want to talk about this and i want to talk about this and i was like wow that's so cool i love that so um we didn't get through everything but yeah and you aren't wearing a diaper no my stomach was fine i just i hate playing ads in the middle of podcasts that's why I went live an hour early, and I play like mm. uh, I have like a thing that it automatically plays three minutes of per ways. hour. So I went All like right, that's it for the interview. What? Stop. Okay. Hey, I have a question. Look at my league starter link. I have if a question. Look, I will suck your big, meaty, throbbing, glistening, stinky cock. This is ass. It's ass. It's garbage. Why are you linking me this? Can't do blood notch anymore. What are you doing blood notch for? Stunning hits? What is this? What the fuck is this, man? What is this? Double influence body armor and it has no influence? Firestorm? What? But what? I don't I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. Alright, one question. Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? All right, guys, how does this sound? Does my mic sound? Does my mic sound any different? Does this sound any different? Let me know. Give me a one if it sounds different. A two if it sounds the same. It's way worse. Okay. Okay. How about? How about right now? How about right now? Is it better? Is it better now? Better? Is it worse overall? Or does it sound... It sounds like you're underwater? Should, should I just not do any of this at all? It sounds muffled. I just... I wanted something where, like, every time I touch my mic, it kind of, like, muffles it. Right? Because, like, I'm touching the mic and it... I, I, I'm trying to do, like, a low-pass thing, but I, I don't think it's going to work. Worse but better in some ways? What? Yeah, no, but, like... Is it is it hiding my taps? Okay. <laughs> I cut the high? What what is cutting the high going to do? The high cutting the high is not going to do anything. Maybe I what What does this do? What does this sound like? It's not a high I, I don't think it's a high pass. I would need a low pass. It's like bassy taps, right? Am I crazy? I'm just like moving my mic, fiddling with the the cable. I don't think it I don't think it helps at all. This might fix it. it might seem crazy I'm out. I'm That's the end of the stream. Tomorrow I'll be leveling Inquisitor. Ah, that day dead. Tonight. Will be corrupting fever champion. Keep your eyes peeled. You fuckers better click and like it. Okay, leave a comment. Help me out. CF champ tonight, tomorrow. DDL medalist. A top ten build guide. Maybe a currency video. I'm gonna go eat some food. Thanks for all the subs. Thanks for the donos. Thanks for the super chats. I'll be playing cast on crit detonate dead. Talk DD on League Start. Does this play? I, not, guys, why do you guys want me to play CF? I got so many people telling me not to play CF. I can't do CF again. I can't. Unless Isrin plays Explosive Arrow Champion. Where is it? Where is it? Just having a build I'm so comfortable and I can get quickly to Ubers and do T17 maps sounds so much better than me trying to something new and spicy and dying and being stuck. Bro, this is me with CF. Literally thinking about CF this league. Guys, great Mark interview. Great Ziz interview. I did see DD got a buff. I did see that. Well, CF is going to do A little bit of gear. But farming. Farming deli. Farming scarabs. All right, guys. One last wide time. Get it out. Get it out. Do this IRL. Do it. Wait.
I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Corrupting Fever Champion. Tomorrow. Detonate Dead Elementals in a top 10 build guide. Maybe a currency video. Tune in. Be there. Don't be square. Wide time in Tuna's chat. Wide time in Tuna's chat. Wide time. Wide time. Get ready for it. Spam wide time. Say, say wide time. I want you guys, everybody, load it. Load it up. Wide time. Arrow. Okay, copy what I say. Do this IRL. Copy what I say. Just copy what I say. Just say, do this IRL. Copy this. Copy this. This is what we're spamming when we raid Tuna. Everybody. Do this IRL. All right. Are you ready? Five. Four. Three. Two. One.